presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... anywhere at any time to anyone it's not really something you can schedule on your calendar but when it happens to you and it's not your fault there's one law firm to remember that firm is Schweigert Clemen and McBride we live here and take pride in helping our community we know this area inside and out we put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you that is what we're all about we're on your side we're Schweigert Clemen and McBride when it comes to your car you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Some are out braving the winter weather, trick-or-treating on this Halloween night. We thank you for tuning in for some sweet volleyball action from the Minot Auditorium, beginning with two region qualifiers and, of course, the District 12 championship to wrap it all up. The first match we get to see, a battle between the number four seeds, Surrey Mustangs, and three seed, the Lax Burlington Lakers. The winner gets into the Region 6 tournament next week right here on the PSP Network. The loser, well, they're going to have to plan for 2024 as they'll be eliminated. Alongside Melissa Spelchen, I'm Owen Patterson, Nick Holberg producing the game, and Peyton Peter running cameras as well. We thank all of them. Melissa, after a full day of volleyball yesterday, how excited are you for day number three, the final day of this tournament? 
I am super excited. Oh, and nice to see you again. And, uh, you know, my voice, I, I kind of kept myself quiet today, which is a really difficult thing for me to not talk for a while to get ready for these three matches. Super excited for DLB in Surrey. Uh, you know, I thought last night one of the most exciting sets was DLB in the set that they won against South Prairie. So if they can bring that energy from that set, uh, they'll be tough to beat for sure and so surrey is neighbors i mean <laughs> neighbors yep. neighbors was on like fire last night and so if she can bring that energy and some of the other players can surround her and kind of distribute the ball a little bit better it should be a solid matchup here for a region qualifier absolutely well the mustangs are reaching a couple of milestones we saw senior setter melissa dugan reach 1000 career assist yesterday and we were notified that uh, senior libero Caitlin Ryder is 14 digs away from 1500 on her career so some things to watch out for for Surrey in this match uh, the Mustangs yesterday swept Mohaw Lansford Sherwood picking up their first win in the District 12 tournament it was a pretty quick three to nothing win as for Delax Burlington uh, they suffered their first loss of the tournament last night in the nightcap against South Curry Max falling in four sets some players to watch for Surrey like you said Mackenzie neighbors also Micaiah Girding and defensively, it's been Caitlin Ryder. For the Lax Burlington, Ava Feist and Ava Brown were the players to watch last night, but it seemed like it was a lot more of Shea Holen and Logan Eastos. Yeah, they played really, really well on the power side for DLB, and definitely Paige Berard stepped in and did her best out of the middle, but she was also impressive setting, and she's setting right now in warm-up here. So I'd look for those three players to really step up and really do everything they can to get themselves into the region tournament next week. An interesting point there, because we saw Berard setting for one set against South Prairie Max, but it seemed like her best plays were, were not coming in setting. It was the other three sets. Where do you want to see her play today? I think they're going to do it again. And it's honestly, for those who are listening and are, are uh, volleyball aficionados, uh, it's very odd to play middle in the front row and setting in the back row. But they, what I love about uh, today's game is you can be kind of a little bit more versatile. Every, nothing has to be super structured like that. And they're just, the DLB coaches are just honoring the fact that Paige has great hands. Mm -hmm. And so she can distribute the ball a little bit better um, than let's say the other setter for those three rotations where the other people are in the front row. So um, I expect her to do the same, uh, which is again a little odd, but um, I'm betting that for her, the middle hitting feeds off of her ability to set the ball well and vice versa. So um, excited to watch her today and, and see what Yistas does. She sure stepped up and set three and four yep. yesterday. She was kind of quiet and then she got going. And then, you know, Shay did a nice job, Shay Holen, keeping balls in and keeping her team in it yesterday. So yeah, you're right. Those three players are players to watch for DLB. Surrey comes in with a record of 16 and 12 on the season while Delax Burlington is 27 and nine after a one and one start to this tournament. We're set for the national anthem here. It'll be sung by our Redeemers volleyball player, Ashlyn Vick. So we will turn it over to her for the national anthem here on the PSP network. Part of the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Ashlyn Vicks nailed it. Well performed. 
You know what I love about the anthem, honestly, when it's sung, is the pace. When the pace is kind of a little faster, which is what we're hoping for for this volleyball match, I really enjoy when the anthem's sung at a good pace versus elongated for a while. So we see what the equality is here with the anthem and the volleyball match. Well, they're getting into the starting lineups here in the Minot Auditorium. So I remind you that our pregame show is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. We know you're busy when you visit our service center. We don't waste our time or yours. Our technicians can typically perform a full oil change service in about 15 minutes. Valvoline Instant Oil Change with locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. Other game sponsors include Minot State University. The best way to predict your future is to create it with over 100 areas of study at Minot State. You'll earn the degree for the career you desire. Minot State University, be seen, be heard, be you. Head coach for Delax Burlington, Erica Moe, sure in the Halloween spirit. And if you didn't yeah. see it, viewers, uh, Melissa Spelton is in the Halloween spirit as well. We're going to see what good costumes we see from the student section as well. It doesn't yeah. look like any uh, in this game. <laughs> you know, and you, here's the deal. I want to talk a little bit about Surrey because we talked yeah. enough about DLB here on this pregame. Um, okay, neighbors, right? Like, she had an amazing match yesterday. She's going to have to continue that. But I really need to see Micaiah Girding step yeah. out and have a presence in tonight's, in this afternoon's match, I think, for Surrey to take DLB. As well as, if you remember Morgan Anderson, yep. she served the ball really, really well and played some solid defense and offense in the power side. I think she's going to have to be a little bit better today, but I really see Micaiah Girding trying to match neighbors' energy and kill efficiency, and I think that could take them over the top over DLB. All right. Delax Burlington being introduced here. Let's take a look at the rest of our schedule for today. After this match, it'll be Bishop Ryan and Berthold in the other region qualifier. And then in the end, the District 12 Championship coming up tonight. Our Redeemers at South Prairie Max, a rematch of what was a great uh, regular season matchup. Our Redeemers swept them in three. It was much anticipated, though, as both of those teams are ranked in the top ten in the state. So stick along with us all night long on the PSP Network as we wrap up the final day of action in the District 12 tournament. And a reminder that we've got uh, the Region 6 tournament starting next Monday as well on the PSP Network. Now that does it for the Valvoline Instant Oil Change pregame show. Sounds like we will step aside for one quick second and have first serve coming up next on the PSP Network. You need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. From the 26-yard line, nearing the serve pro red zone, are the Demons already? Hand off, Hanky dances in the hole. Now he speeds and bursts outside, accelerates to the 20, 15, 10, two touches, two touchdowns. Carter Hanky. This time they go left, and he just does what he does so well. Is he read the block? It wasn't off tackle. It wasn't off the guard on the inside, and he took his time. Then he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the Demons, helping him out. Back in the Minot Auditorium for region qualifier number one between the Surrey Mustangs in blue and the Delax Burlington Lakers in white. We'll have the starting six in just a moment as we prepare for day three of volleyball action in the District 12 tournament. So if you lose, your season is over. If you win, you honestly have a chance at state. Still That's do. the difference here, Still right? Alive. You make it to the region tournament, single el elimination, but you have a chance. And you never know in playoffs when you get on the floor and you have a spectacular match. So yeah, like really, lots on the line. The most on the line. And we'll have our eyes as matches. well on the District 11 tournament, which is part of District 6. Uh, some important games over there to see who qualifies as the four teams from District 11. Starting six for Delax Burlington, it'll be number two, Paige Berard, number nine, Ava Feist, number four, Logan Eastos in the front, Libero, Camry Benno, along with Shea Holen and Kaylee Werner 
for the Lakers. And the opening serve received by the Mustangs. That was Morgan Anderson. And there's Caitlin Ryder in the white libero uniform. Again, just 14 digs away from 1,500. And I think she's now 13 away after that last play. Here comes Berard. And Anderson, that was tipped, kept alive by Benno. Diving play made by Caitlin Ryder. Delax, serve it up for Istos. And that'll be the first kill of the game. First point for the Lakers. Pretty good rally to start the match. A lot of little Halloween plays here. There were uh, like right arms out and left arms out and, and random volleyball plays. Not great technique, but uh, definitely fun to watch. Starting six, by the way, for the Mustangs, as that serve will go out for an ace off of Maya Krizel. She's in the starting lineup along with Melissa Dugan, Caitlin Ryder, Makaya Gerding, Mackenzie Neighbors, and Morgan Anderson. Head coach for the Mustangs is Michaela Martin. Again, her team 16 and 12 on the season counting district games just out, and the Mustangs are on the board, trailing 1 2 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard with locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona. BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. Visit BNC Bank online today at bnc.bank. Dugan just served the uh, setter who had the 1,000 assists. Oh. Nice dig, though, by her shoulder. <laughs> that was a good day. Whatever, she made the play. Neighbors back row with the dig. Set it up for Berard. Now Anderson for Surrey. Great start to this match. Yeah, Some long, long rallies. rallies. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Owen. Yes. Eastos just in. Perfect from Logan Eastos, the sophomore outside hitter, coming came into this tournament with 184 kills. Like you said, she had a great second half to uh, last night's match against South Perry Max. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, Nick, you might want to get that move of the game there when Dugan got that, that dig off of her shoulder on that last play. Definitely one to put in the highlight reel, not <laughs> yeah, that play though. She, she was smiling too, because yeah. you know, you obviously, that was a long rally after she made that dig with her shoulder, but um, again, whatever it takes to get the ball up, volleyball players want to do it. The Lakers managed to get the ball over the net. Mustangs now with a good opportunity. Makaya Gerding, and she takes care of that. Makaya Gerding, a key player to watch for the Mustangs today. Definitely, to a I good think. Start. Definitely to get a to get a W. Gerding has to play well, and she did a nice job when she first got the ball in that series. Was a tip, and then a nice right um, angle shot off of, out of the middle for her to get a kill and the point. Got a whistle on the Mustangs after the ball went out off a of DLB. Cruzel over the line. Yeah, just touched, just touched the net slightly. In for the Mustangs, number 11, Matea Nelson for defense. Nice pass by Ryder. And a nice attack by Mackenzie Neighbors. Big match for Ryder. She's coming on close to some dig record, right? 1,500 dig, uh, yeah. career digs. So she's going to be fired up, which is awesome. Told by the coach that when they take a timeout, it'll be the same just like yesterday, celebrating that milestone. That was Matea Nelson with the dig, but nobody could receive it for a Surrey team. Yeah, for a 4 o'clock afternoon um, match, I'm really impressed here with how uh, well defensively both teams are playing. They're laying out there. Four to six is the new score. As Brianna Selfridge comes in for Delax Burlington, player who saw a bit of time in last night's match against South Prairie. Left-handed serve by Maya Cruzel. Hit from the left side by Ava Brown. Just out of him. Saw some very close calls in the semifinal matches. Brown instead goes with the tip this time. Ooh, behind the back there. Nice athletic play by Sienna Klempel, although Surrey lost the point. 
That one goes to Kaylee Werner with the kill. 7-5 lead for Delax Burlington. Early going in the first set. Collision there in the back row as give that to Ryder. Yeah, I think she took <laughs> she took a, a couple fists accidentally from Taylor Spaulding, her teammate, when they both went for that serve yeah, receive so pass. But doesn't matter. It got to the center. Say, Taylor, yeah. get out of the way. I'm going for 1500. Yeah, that's right. Off the top of the net, but perfect in the right oh, place nice was Kaylee point. Werner. Here's Eastos. Picked up by Anderson. Over to Spaulding. Hit over by Ryder. Dugan sets up for neighbors. Surrey looking for the tie. Anderson. And they'll get it. Morgan Anderson with the kill. She's got a little spunk. Oh, and Morgan Anderson. I noticed that on the first play again when she had her one arm out and then she got the ball back and hit it over and Surrey needs to check with their rotation. Just making sure the right person's serving. And that would be Mackenzie Neighbors, sophomore middle blocker. Best player on Surrey's team yesterday for sure. Right side with Ava Brown. That time she gets the kill. The Lakers take the lead back at 8-7. Libero is serving now. Cambry Benno, 25 aces in the regular season. Team leading 400 digs. Got to go. There you go. It's over. Mustangs managed to get the ball oh, over the still. net. Good and muscle. they're going to get the point. What an impressive display there by the Surrey Mustangs. Yeah, I'm clapping on this one. I love, I mean, good hustle by DLB to even try to get the ball over. I love that in volleyball, right? Never quit. Putting it all out on the line for a chance. To go to regionals. To go to region six. 8-8 eight, eight on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Yistas blocked by Dugan and Gerding. Anderson, nobody was there for the Lakers. Mustangs have their first lead of the game. Yeah, I like that little from out of power, that kind of off-speed shot down the line to short position one. That's tough to do if the six back is playing back farther and she can't go get that on a dig. So nice job by Anderson. Anderson blocked by Berard and Werner. Delax Burlington, a team with a record this month of 13 and two. Ooh, nice month for them mm -hmm. of October. On the final day of October, chance to improve the record a little bit. Surrey making it a little bit difficult as they lead 10-9. Meanwhile, the Mustangs in October went nine, six, and one, so above 500. Reaching back was Werner for the set. Double hit. I didn't think it was too terrible to be called there, Owen, but up official thought differently. Ace for Dugan. Timeout, Delax Burlington. How about Suri with quite a run here, four in a row. Yeah. And it'll be number four, Melissa Dugan, serving when we come back on the PSP Network. Transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan, BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Melissa Dugan serves up 12-9 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Back at the District 12 Volleyball Tournament from Minot.
Set up for Gerding. Second kill of the match for her. Yeah, she was really impressive on that whole series of plays. Cruzel, Gerding, a block, a touch. Gerding gets back wonderfully on transition, gets the ball, kill. Well done by her. Here's Anderson for the Mustangs. Dig by Benno. Somebody had to hit it, it was Holen. Anderson, far side. Nice One-handed by Benno. She's done that three times Can now. Can the Lakers take this point? No. Mustang opportunity, three ball for the Lakers. Long rally here at 13-9. Kept alive by neighbors. Sent over by Ryder. I'm tired watching this one. Neighbors. <laughs> it's a long point. Here's Eastos. <laughs> Eastos gets it done, and DLB ends the point streak for Surrey at five. Yeah. A nice point to win, right, a long rally like that, especially when they've been um, outscored, probably like six to one in the last few points. A nice job by DLB. Set up by Warner for Holen. Here's Berard in the middle. Dig by Dugan. Backwards set to Anderson. That's the fifth dig for Ryder. Got to be counting those. <laughs> I see you got a tally going on your sheet over there, Owen. Trying. <laughs> Might still be unofficial, but that's a kill for Morgan Anderson. I know that for sure. She's so, got two. A couple of players I want to talk about right now. Melissa Dugan, like, she is really kind of a quiet, athletic player. She is in the right position all the time as the setter. So I want to give her credit there. And she gets her hands on the ball so fast and makes good plays. That one was ruled out. Lakers celebrated a little bit prematurely. The other thing I'd like to see happen for DLB, Paige Berard cuts across her body a lot. She's constantly going uh, to, to the left, to the left. I'd like her to go with the ball and hit hard to the right to make some difference and some changes here. Three on the night for Micaiah Girding. Yeah, and again, a great tip. She has her arm up there for a very, very long time. Again, tough for the block to read and decide what she's gonna do. That's a smart play by her. Close to the net, Benno. Good play. Gives an opportunity for Holden. Here's Dugan, set up for Neighbors. 16-10 lead for the Mustangs. Another dig by Ryder. Shea Holen again off the top of the net. No touch. Morgan Anderson, the best server yesterday for Surrey at the line. Absolutely right there, Owen. DLB is getting frustrated. And honestly, I would be a little bit too. I think that ball could have been in on the far court there. And then Shea just had, Shea Holland had a ball that I think was touched. So things aren't really being called their way. So what do you do? You gotta go to your bread and butter. And that would be Paige Berard in the middle if they can. We'll see what they discuss during the Hub International Insurance timeout. Call Hub International Insurance today for all of your personal and business insurance needs. Hub is the leading North American insurance brokerage. More to come on the PSP Network next. Stylists are trained to understand the uh, nuances of cutting men's hair. Less pomp, more adore, huh, Brittany? Square face, wavy hair. Mid fade with a textured top. Finish it off with a hard part and taper that neckline, coach. Cowlick, what's the move? It's not just all about hard work here. Hit off, seven, pressure, point, yeah. It takes expertise to be a sport clip stylist. Here. Ah. That's a spot right there, huh? Sport clips, the pros in men's hair.
The fourth seed, Surrey, leads number three to Lax Burlington in the first set, 18 10. Nice serve. Out of the timeout. Dugan to Neighbors. First kill for her. It was in and touch. No matter what you call it, it was a point for the Mustangs. Yeah, definitely a nice swing by Neighbors. She's been quiet. Girding has been kind of stepping up here, which is what I was hoping for. Neighbors has been back row most of the match. Right, right, yeah. Mustangs have a 10 point advantage as Anderson continues to serve. It's probably a good thing for the mm, Mustangs. Beautiful serve there. Anderson is a very good server. Dugan watched it go out and another point for Surrey. They'll be out of timeouts in this first set, so they're gonna have to play through. A very good placement server, Morgan Anderson. Right to Benno. Here's Holand blocked by Girding and Krizel. Dugan with a great dig there, Owen. Last Again, she's in the right spot. Another block, can't get it past Cruzell and Girding. Nope, no touch. Yeah, I don't know, we saw touch. I don't know, I uh, saw touch. Same here. Yeah, and I could hear it actually. If you, do you remember last night when I was telling you like if that happened, I'd be screaming yeah. it if I was the hitter and screaming no touch if I was the blocker. Uh, you never know what Rard you can convince a, a ref to do. <laughs> so that will uh, stop Anderson from serving, but the Lakers have a long way to go in this opening set. Did she serve like eight points there? I was at least eight. <laughs> Good swing by Girding there. Holland again. A little frustrated not being able to register that kill yet. Ooh. Too far from Ava Feist. So when they needed a bit of a run, they only get one. Delax Burlington. <laughs> Neighbors again. Nice dig. Back into the net. Touched over by Sienna Klimple. Kind of a surprising set point here at 24-11. Surf Pro set point. 24-7 emergency service with trained technicians. It's Surf Pro. 24-11 at the moment. Into the net again and works one more time as Neighbors and Klimple are there and Surrey with a huge first set victory 25-11 over Deluxe Burlington. Set two on the other end of this commercial break. You're watching District 12 Volleyball on the PSP Network. Your business or your home, across the town or across The trick to throwing well is knowing where you want the ball to go. Like how the local bankers at First Western Bank and Trust take the time to learn about you and recommend the banking services like online banking or personal loans that keep your goals on target. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Jersey Mike slices your sub right in front of you, see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is a see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is the rhythm of the slice. right in front of you. It's the Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. This presentation of District 12 Volleyball on the PSP Network is brought to you by Northern Plains Heating and Air. Northern Plains Heating and Air has over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts. As a factory authorized dealer for Aero Seal, we have a whistle there. There's no other choice to seal your heating and air game other than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Find them online at northernplains.com. 
I completely missed that because I know that it was a the call was double hit on Werner so the play was kind of essentially done so I don't know the only thing I could propose and I don't know if we have the replay here but uh, is that maybe she went up for a block and just came down on her own player's foot so Surrey will thinking be the play was still happening before the whistle came on the set so Surrey will be without M Maya Cruzel for the moment and they're waiting for the coach to come and Oh, the coach just to be on the floor, okay. And now back buzzer. to volleyball. <laughs> Surrey up one nothing in set two. Nice play there by Paige Burrard to get the Lakers going, hopefully in the second set. Again, still across her body. I'd like to go with her, go to the right side a little bit for her. Looks like the replacement for Cruzella is Harley Riles for Surrey. Dugan's fired up. Setter, the floor captain's fired up for Surrey. She wants this one. Sports Clips MVP of the match yesterday. Dugan with the set for neighbors. Nice dig by Werner there. And by Anderson. Neighbors tip, but it's out of bounds. Had the right idea, it's not the right placement. This seems like a tipping game. We notice that, tipping match. A little more tipping than they are swinging away. And they were there watching uh, Ajaya Trader last night against Lax Burlington. Sometimes when the set is tight, you, that's all you got to do is tip. Long hit there by Paige Burrard and it Find a spot in bounds. She's playing well. Absolutely, Paige yep, Burrard. She's, well. she's doing enough, I think, right now. It just needs to be some other players on DLB to step up and take some offensive control. Could be Eustace, could be Holen. Here's a free ball to see who does it. It'll be Burrard setting for Shea Holen. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to have to get a couple kills here in the front row while she's there. Jay Holen, senior outside hitter, 119 kills in the regular season. Oh. And it's three in a row for Delax Burlington. Five to two lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Hmm. Paige Burrard, right? She gets a... She gets a kill, a tip kill. She goes back to the service line. She's now served four points, and she assisted on Shea's kill. Shea Doing Holland's it all kill. right yep, now yep. for DLB. Nice dig. Chasing out, oh, ran out of room. That was Ava Feist, took a spill. Love the hustle though. Both Berard and Feist were going for the ball, and then they both stopped at the same time. So that will uh, be credited to Micaiah Gerding, who goes to serve now. She's had a great start to this match. Mm -hmm. In contention for Sports Clips MVP of the match, which will be presented during the Planning Team Financial Shots Crossroads post-game show. Dugan, up for neighbors. Oh, just missed that one. <laughs> it was Feist and Brown up at the net for the block. But point goes to the Mustangs, trailing by two. Off the top of the net, kept alive by Ava Feist for DLB. Swing. Brard sets up for Holen again. That one. For won't. sure, touch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Touch on the block, yeah. Nice job by the line judge. She had the signal right away. They were screaming it though. You heard them. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fire in this match, I'm seeing, and I appreciate that. Win or go home. Nice dig. That was Benno. Lakers libero. Yeah, she's been playing well in the Go back, back to Neighbors again with a touch. 
the talk. Hit over by Feist. Dugan again goes for neighbors. Try it three times. Sent one with the left hand. Another one of the long rallies. You've seen a lot of them in the match. Berard to Holen. There you go. And it's hit back into the net by Matea Nelson. Nice swing Lakers by Holen. Lakers a hard fought point there. You know what's interesting part of the game now, Owen? Is when the setter, the back row setter, plays defense, they honestly pass it to the libero, so the libero plays the second ball. It's amazing. It's not to the setting position in the front row. It's to the libero in the back. Completely different than how we played just a few years ago. <laughs> Sliding play by Benno, and it's saved by Holen. Now she's falling on the ground again. Yeah, the effort's amazing here. Lakers athleticism on display. There's in the middle, Ava Brown, well-earned point again. Yeah, well, volleyball, volleyball God spoke there. I mean, DLB is showing heart. Mm -hmm. When you're flying all over the place, and honestly, the person for me that's that's um, the spark plug is Cambry Benno. She's the one that's flying all over and then getting her other players to do it with her, you know? Holen has a chase after another one, gets it over the net. Oh, nice play there, Melissa Dugan. That's impressive timing there. I didn't even expect it. Nice tip kill on the second ball by Melissa Dugan. And as a setter, like when you do that and like literally nobody expected it, that's such a good feeling. And she knows, <laughs> she knows. Taylor Spaulding serving for Surrey. Gets the dig there too. Here's Neighbors, left side, in. Kill for Mackenzie Neighbors. We've been trying to get her going in the second set, finally gets a kill. She's got a very, like, um, slow approach. She, she's slow on the first step, second step, and then the third step's kind of speedy, and it's hard for the block to see where her arm's going. Cross court attack, misses from Poland, now playing on the right side. It's effective for neighbors, but I would actually coach her different. I would coach her to have more power in her jump, right? To get like your, the three steps in the approach, right? Or to kind of gain momentum, to gain power, to get a huge vertical to have, to be able to hit that ball at the top of its, its point. But she's effective in what she's doing right now. There she goes again. It's a bigger swing for her. Eastas. Dug by Nelson. Here's Neighbors again. One, two, go. Brown in the middle. Got it. Ava Brown. Yeah, and I got to say, Owen, you've called her a, an important player in the last two matches, and I haven't seen it till in the last few points. So let's see what Ava Brown can do. She might get the ball here. Nope, goes near side with go, go. setter Kaylee Werner. Oh, no. A whistle. Nice block by Surrey, but great job on the defensive coverage there. Nice job to try to get that ball up. Referee thought it was a lift. Dugan Anderson, haven't said her name in a while. Lakers playing well on defense. Anderson again. Brown and Werner couldn't keep it in. Just a bit of an issue there with sealing the net on the block. Because they're, they're there, yep. right? Timing was good, but they're just a little too far away and the ball comes down and beneath them. It was in the net and Klempel reached over. Page got away with a back row attack there. Berard. Remember when I the, told you, uh, yeah. if you if she's back row and she's above the height of the net and she, any sort of contact, she touched that ball before Suri ball person touched it, that's automatic back row. So DLB got away with one there. Heard the referees explaining that rule before uh, this match began, the different signals for screen and uh, backside block, which Did I think- Did you get a little training? I, I did, yeah. Oh, because yeah. there was a bit of confusion, you know? The uh, PA and us, we actually got that call wrong. You called it screening, but they uh, determined it was actually a backside block. But like, they're like two different oh. hand signals. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, 
pause in the action there. Uh, that was, I think, Surrey was just saying there's some things that are being said by the student section oh. that don't need to be said, and so the referee needs to address it for sure. And if you wanted to know what student section DLB is, it's the one wearing trash bags. Yeah, that's an interesting Halloween outfit. I love any Halloween outfit. You've never seen that theme before. <laughs> no. Kids are so creative. Oh, Caitlin Ryder. Now she's got a, you know, hop in her step, like literally hopping around, I'm watching her. Sliding with Spalding for the dig. Ryder hits it over, free ball for the Lakers. There's Berard. She Everybody getting a dig for Surrey at the moment. Here's another long rally. Pistas. Nope, there's neighbors. We continue. Klimple. Vistas again for the far side. Punched in the air by Dugan and unable to save it were the Mustangs. Yeah, smart play by Paige, right? There, I mean, you have a long rally and she gets the ball and she can see the floor and on the first contact, she just sends it over to deeper six. Planet, nice play by her. Planet Pizza, there's no pizza quite like it. Try the blue buffalo or a plain cheese. Call now at 701-852-1700. Planet Pizza serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Back to the action here. Anderson hits it out. Yeah. Large lead for DLB, it's 16 to nine. Yeah, Trying. spark plug is Cam Cambry Benno here, Owen. Like she's playing so well in the back row. 25 aces in the regular season for the senior libero, Cambry Benno. That was Selfridge. Now Istas. I'll get the point. Spalding couldn't catch up to it, and the Surrey Mustangs will call a timeout. Hub International timeout on the floor. Hub International Insurance located at 4204 Boulder Ridge Road in Northwest Bismarck. Contact your local Hub agents, Josh Cattell or Michael Borman at 355-3100 for your personal and business insurance needs. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shaw's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Large cheer in the gym. It seems like my numbers were off because <laughs> Caitlin Ryder of Surrey just hit 1,500 career digs. Caitlin Ryder. It's okay, Owen. You're a rookie. You're doing phenomenal. I was close, though. I had her at 12. Congratulations to Kate, Caitlin Ryder. I watched her on Friday, watched her yesterday. She's a really spectacular libero, and I loved defense when I played, so definitely can appreciate good defense. Well done by her and her family, and all the time put in to get to be a really good volleyball player and, and get to the level where you have that many digs in your career. Fantastic 1,501 digs for Ryder <laughs> after that, and I believe that was Dugan who hit it over. Mustangs trail by eight. Update from District 11, their region qualifier. Drake Animus and Newburgh West Hope tied at one. The winner of that match will qualify, of course, for the Region 6 tournament next Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Eleven eighteen, your score. Riders serving. There's Berard in the middle, blocked. Makaya Girding. Solo block. That should get her fired up. That could be a turning point. I mean, there's still plenty of room here for Surrey to go on a run. Trailing by six. DLB needs a pass and a side out now. Benno to Werner, up to Eastos. One hit and it's back over from Spalding. Eastos again, Spalding. Mm -hmm. Here's Girding. Third try for Eastos. <laughs> Can't get anything Spalding. past Taylor Spalding. Tip by Girding and Eastos with a sliding uh, save. Nobody there for the Mustangs. And the Lakers do get a point and that run for the Mustangs. Well, 
Yeastal's got the ball three times. Spalding got the ball three times. Who's the person to have the kill? Paige, Paige Burrard. Burrard. Yep, she's playing well. She's playing well at the right time. Backwards to Girding. DLB not expecting it as Holen was too late to get there. Yeah, nice playoff serve receive for Surrey. And again, Makaya seems to be very, very smart with her tipping game. And again, she's very deceiving when she has that hand up there for a long time. Junior middle blocker, number six, Makaya Girding. Ooh, she had a chance to pound one there. Morgan Anderson will try. Cross court to Eastos. Nice. Kill for number four. Good mix, right? Eastos the last series or series before the last series. She had three line shots. That's yep. a good spot for her to hit. The UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot, open Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 7, and Saturday from 8.30 to 3. So we got a kill there for the Mustangs. Makaya Girding. The UPS store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all of your packaging and shipping needs. Yeah, Girding, as I had hoped, has stepped up and, and definitely provided the offense for Surrey. Uh, really, Neighbors has been quiet, so Neighbors and her need to kind of balance out here. There's Neighbors. Too strong. Paige Berard serving for Delax Burlington up 21 to 14. Chance for DLB. This is Shea Holen. Flock out of bounds by Girding and Riles. Shea Holen gets the kill. So Shea Holen, smart, smart volleyball player, right? Like she knew right away that she was going to hit that ball off the block. And it's not, you know, it's not like glamorous, right, of an offensive play, but it's effective and it works and it's a point. Point for Delax Burlington as there is a player in the net for Surrey. That was Girding. <laughs> Neighbors dig by Benno. In the middle with Brown. She gets the kill again, Ava Brown. Delax Burlington up to a serve pro set point. 10 set points for the Lakers. Way to get there and set that ball, Dugan. Berard across to Holen. Nice job, Shea Holen ends the set and we are all even in the region qualifier at the District 12 tournament. Delax Burlington takes the second set 25-14 and we'll be back with the third on the PSP network after this commercial break. Many of our clients come to us already accomplished in their lives and on the right track. However, whether it's in response to a life-changing event or you are nearing retirement, you can sleep well knowing that together we have planned for both life's opportunities and challenges. And no matter what happens, we are here to help guide you. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Some of the South Prairie Max Royals players in attendance for this region qualifier. They've still got a while until they take the court for the District 12 Championship coming up at approximately 8 p.m. today on the PSP Network. They take on the number six team in the state, our Redeemers. The only team to beat them this year. That is still true. Handily. After they survived a, a match against Lax Burlington last night. 
I think they're 26 and one or 27 and one uh, or something. 29 like that. South and one, I believe. 29 and one, South Perry. So uh, exciting District 12 finale tonight. A lot are saying this might not be the most important our Redeemers South Perry match to come, which obviously they could match up in the Region 6 championship, but I think it's still a really important one for the Royals mentally. Oh, it's all about pride. Are you kidding me? To, like uh, to you're not coming here. To, yeah, you're not coming here to just like dial it in. No, I mean, it is going to be one of the most competitive matches I think I've ever broadcasted. Yeah. So I'm pumped for that. So if you're not tuning in, you better tune in or tell all your friends to tune in for tonight. Starting set three, serving for Delax Burlington, Keely Werner. And there's Girding again, the tip kill. Yeah, she has stepped up. She's been impressive, and again, really that with that whole tip kill game. She swung away though a couple more times, and then she's had a couple blocks. So she's definitely uh, versatile and showing all her abilities. You want that in a do or die game. And Morgan Anderson follows that up with a kill of her own. Touched by one of the Lakers back row players. Two nothing Surrey on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Your life is busy, we'll make managing your money easy as well. With locations in North Dakota and Arizona, visit BNC Bank online at bnc.bank. Kill for the Lakers goes to Logan Eastos. Yeah, nice job by Logan. That ball was likely traveling out, so neighbors touched it. Point DLB. Eastos goes back to serving. And good serve there to send it right back to neighbors. Nice strategic play. Here's Girding in the middle. Swings this time. Kill again, definitely in contention for Sports Clips MVP of the match. Sports Clips will keep you looking your best. Check in online with a hairstylist today at sportsclips.com. That MVP haircut experience, Sports Clips. Yeah, this is the best I've seen Makaya Girding play volleyball for sure. Good for her. There's Werner with the dig. And Benno with the shot. Nice dig by Ryder. Go. There you go, go! A lot of effort there from Eastos, but it couldn't stay in bounds as the Mustang leads up to three and serving is Morgan Anderson. Uh-oh. She was serving for, I believe, eight or nine points in set one. Felt like 20 minutes she was serving. That was on a long 15-1 oh, run for the Mustangs. Did she touch it? Yeah, she touched it, but... She did. When you're flying one direction and want to bring it the other, that's tough to do but I appreciate the effort all the time. Paige Berard for DLB, it's the ace. Had 29 of those in the regular season. Yeah, great all around player, Paige is. She's, what do you think, she's 6'1"? I don't know what the... No, I got 5'9". Oh, really? I was that's, way off. That's what the <laughs> roster said, so. Must be my Halloween outfits got me all messed up. <laughs> But you know what, I'm gonna tell you right now, Owen, mm -hmm. everybody lies about their height on the roster. Yeah. That is fact. I was 5'8", and I am not 5'8". Point Mustangs, here's Micaiah Girding at the service line. So it looks like Maya Cruzel, who is hurt in that second set, might be shut down for the rest of the match. Nice approach, go, go, go. Great block. Benno couldn't reach it. Point for the Mustang, 6-3 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Yeah, and there's some Here's screaming the happening to Harley Riles. I'm guessing Harley Riles uh, doesn't get a lot of chances to get blocks like that, so mm -hmm. let's give her a shout out. Riles. I know she's the one who's replaced yep. Cruzel, right? So good for her. Neighbors, what can she do? Left hand block by Ava Feist. Yeah, that was a big play. It was a solo block out there on the outside with neighbors going up to hit with one blocker. Oh, like two Mustangs hit that ball at the same time. It was Nelson and Ryder in the same spot. Five, six, Lakers getting back into set three. It was a uh, dig by Riles that went into the net. Dugan chase after it. Waves of momentum here if you're not seeing this. Wow, Mustangs there. trying to get it right in a tie game. Again into the net and 
having a great time serving is Ava Feist. After that great solo block by her, fired her up. Feist, team leading 36 aces in the regular season. Set up for neighbors. Mustangs finally get an opportunity there. Off the serve, receive. There you go, neighbors. And neighbors gets the kill. Yeah, as you can you see the like like count out kind of like downward shift of of energy when girding left the floor, right? So neighbors has to pick that up for her team in the front. And Ryder on defense. Lakers nice. managed to get it across the net. Neighbors the <laughs> hole in. Got it back to Benno. Set up for Neighbors again. Mackenzie Neighbors. Dug by Brianna Selfridge. Too strong from Shea Holen over the block and out of bounds. 8-7 Surrey, they're back in front. A couple players I want to shout out that are doing a nice job. Brianna Selfridge for DLB and Chloe Taylor Spalding. Yep. For Surrey, yeah, they're digging some balls and we just haven't said their names enough and I want to make sure that all players get the chance to uh, get some, uh, you know, kind of attention, right? Positive attention, so. A lot of velo on the attack, ruled out of bounds. I think that was Brown with the hit. Definitely disappointed in the call. They've had a couple calls, right, that were pretty close. Yep. Called out, and they thought they were in. Last night as well. Point oh. for Surrey after the lift called against the Lakers. 10-7 Mustangs. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have called that one either. Um, a lift. A little replay here of some some interesting calls in set one, so. Oh. There, Brown gets the job done. When that happens, again, when that starts to happen, right, and again, kudos to the refs. They make the calls. It's on the team to kind of deal with adversity. DLB, what they need to do is go to bread and butter. Just go to go to bread and butter. What I would do is, seems to be in terms of setting the middle. Neighbors had a set into the net and really couldn't do much with it. It'll be four hits against the Mustangs. One point deficit for the Lakers. Poland serving, dug by Ryder. Klimple. There's Klimple nice in play. the middle with the kill. Sienna Klimple, another one of those junior blockers for Surrey as Anderson checks in. Have you noticed in the last few points, just like very short series of plays? Yep, yep. yep. So I don't know, is there some tiredness on the floor? I don't know. Cross court from Brown, dug by Spalding. In the middle, Brown again, back to back. Yeah, go to the middle. It seems to be DLB's best spot, go to the middle. Brown comes out as Benno goes to serve. Out of bounds, off of the Mustangs. Tied set three, Owen, 11-11. One set to one as well. Lots of ones in the scores. Eustace. Dug by Spalding, set by Dugan. No Four touch. Four hits, no touch against the Lakers. It was a block from Eustace and Berard, but into the net by Klippel. Middle. Keep it front row with Berard. Off the arm of Taylor Spalding. They've been going after her a lot in this match. Nice job by DLB when I said there was some adversity and they have stepped up and set the middle. That seems to be their bread and butter. Morgan Anderson with the kill. Lakers let it go. Anderson says, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. A Ryan replay. Girding back into the match here. See if she can continue her dominance. They go to Eastos. She Good gets touch. the block. Yep. 
He stops over the block this time, off the hand of Spalding. Kept in by Neighbors, Ryder over the net, received by Benno. Jeez. She stops for a third time. And she just can't find the open spot. I'd set the well, can't set the middle here. He stops for a fourth time. In the middle, girding. Oh, they figured out that tip there on that play. Fifth time, Easta, still. <laughs> and we continue this very long rally. Gets the block. We're back to Mustang the long rally. set it up for Anderson. Anderson off the top of the net, and that'll work. And it ends up being the, uh, the odd play right there that gets the job done for Surrey. Everybody's working hard. They are so working hard, and they're just kind of trading like a couple points here, a couple points there. 13-13. Middle there. for Berard. Nice Up job, Benno. Stas from the line. Harrison again, another dig by Benno. Up in the air. Girding from the middle. No touch. Right out of bounds. Lakers take the lead. Prestwich Orthodontics specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations, virtual or in office. Enjoy professional treatment in a fun, relaxed atmosphere. Check them out at MyNotBraces.com. Easy there for Anderson. Gets it back <laughs> on the set from, uh, from Dugan. Didn't have to move. No, I, and I loved how you called that because really it was like she was just a doof. <laughs> Just do, <laughs> your, your knees weren't bent, no nothing. Oh, she Anderson wasn't, ready wasn't really for that. looking. No. Spalding though to save the day. And a smart play by DLB player to just serve it. Nice. Out as Feist was on the attack for the Lakers and we're still. Great third set here. In a one point set. Riles comes back in for Spalding. As Dugan goes to serve. Block won't get over the net. It was actually touched again by uh, Girding there in the middle. What I'm noticing is there's not a lot of like celebrations after points. I think no. the kids are tired. So they're just kind of conserving energy here. Girding out. Tie, nope, 16-15. With Yistas back to serve. Yistas, 31 aces in the regular season for the sophomore. Back set, Near side, seen Anderson. Here's Holen, didn't get all of the volleyball into the net. Point for the Mustangs, now we're tied. She does have a nice uh, little roll shot. She just didn't get, like you said, didn't get all that. Anderson serving for the Mustangs, good sign for Surrey. Benno, over to Ryder. <laughs> a nice play by Benno again. Like she's one of my favorite players this afternoon for DLB. She is providing all kinds of energy. She's making all kinds of plays. She's talking the most. Uh, she's only in there, you know, she sits for a couple rotations. So she has more energy than the rest. Dugan couldn't uh, reach it, goes she into comes. the net. She was down, now she's up. Right back in after one point is Cambry Benno for DLB. That's Paige Berard serving. Up by two. Receive, oh. goes in the net. Ava Brown, right back at you. All of a sudden they have a three point lead. See how quick that happened? How much of a run can they go on? At a critical time. It'll continue after Ryder couldn't receive the serve. It's an ace for Berard and a timeout for the Mustangs. 20 to 16 lead for DLB on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Thank we'll have the rest so of the third set on the life. other side of this commercial the break on the PSP right network. Very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them. and try to do things to help make our communities better.
at a collision there at the net as neighbors tried hitting it over, but Riles was in the way. And that one just on accident, net violation on the Mustangs. And now the run continues for Delax Burlington. Yeah, since 16-16, obviously, DLB on a five-point run and taking control of this set. Holand gets it back and gets the kill. 22-16. Delax Burlington looking for two set wins in a row. Your eyes get so big when you have that ball on an overpass and there's no block. Herding didn't have to jump. Gets it over the net. Holand again looking for two in a row. Won't happen. Who wants to hit it? It'll be Neighbors. In the middle, Berard sets up for Brown. Blocked by Girding, solo. Chasing it, out of bounds was Ryder. Nice set by Bettle. Far set to Holen. Neighbors at the net, Benno with the dig. Nice transition here for DLD. Touch, one hand over Brown, back to Girding. <laughs> playing, some, tip. playing some catch. <laughs> yeah, the front row. Long rally here at 22-16. Oh, Benno, good, yeah. wow, she's been playing great. Mm, it wasn't in the right oh. spot for neighbors. <laughs> Benno Sorry. slides in there and saves again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta call that when this rally's over. Look at her. I think we have some jobbers moves of the game all in this very point. Oh, running out of room there was Holen. That's okay. That'll end the run, but still, very good effort from the Lakers there. Oh, she'd like to. So what DLB, I mean, I wouldn't allow Surrey in at all. Like you're, you're focused on a good pass right here and a really smart, or you get that, get lucky. Girding serves into the net, right back to the Lakers, up 23-17. Nice serve. And a nice serve pro set point. 24-7 emergency service, trained technicians with advanced technology and fire and water cleanup restoration. That's their specialty. It's serve pro. Serve pro set point for the Lakers. It'll come the neighbors. Benno with the dig. And Holen too strong. Selfridge subs in for Delax Burlington. Still with six set points. Who wants to serve? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be Taylor Spalding. Oh, and you want to like, go in and serve? You know what? I might. I told you yesterday I can overhand serve. Yeah, I was going to say, like, what does your serve look like? I had multiple versions. Nice play. Got the block and the point, 25-18. The final in set three. We're not done yet. We got set four coming right up on the PSP network. Good time to remind you that Roger Ward Moving and Storage is one of our great sponsors. They've been proudly helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. To schedule a move or to find a quote, Roger Ward Moving and Storage. More from Minot after this break. You need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Every 10 minutes, three people in the United States will die from a preventable incident. More people are dying on our roadways and in their homes than ever before. But that's where the North Dakota Safety Council can help. Safety is our mission from the workplace to any place. We're a private nonprofit that offers more than 150 training courses that are dynamic, hands-on, and effective. From CPR and first aid to driver safety and even workplace violence preparedness, we want to make sure your loved ones come home safe each night. Go to ndsc.org to see how together we can make a difference.
set four underway from the Minot Auditorium. Region six qualifier. Between Delax Burlington and Surrey, Lakers have the lead right now. Two sets to one and one set to none in set four. Yeah, DLB certainly has taken over the momentum after set one. And I, I really think it's Cambry Benno. Cambry Benno, Paige Berard, Yeastas, Holen. Sprinkling in a little Feist, right? I think that's Feist, number four. Yep. But Benno, just a spark plug. Anderson tipped by Berard. Feist tried it, but neighbor standing in the back row. Free ball for Surrey. Dugan, back row attack. For Mackenzie Neighbors. Good and a block. That'll go to Riles and Girding for the Mustangs, even at one. Update from District 11. What do you got, Owen? Newburgh West Hope has taken the lead. Two sets to one over Drake Animus. Region 6 qualifier there. Olin. There's a yeah, the kill. Got, she's got a nice roll shot. One of the best I've seen here at District 12 for sure. Shea pulling with her roll shot outside. Lakers have had a lot of success when uh, Paige Berard is serving. A long run in the third set. Reaching for the dig was Matea Nelson. Another free ball for the Mustangs. Nothing doing. Middle for Brown. She's played well in that position. Yeah, she's uh, definitely gotten a couple kills to keep establishing the middle for DLB. Tip by Feist. Mustangs take care of it. From the back row, Eastos. Nelson was anticipating. Here's Neighbors. And here's another long Holen. rally. <laughs> Holen tries it again with a dig. By a rider off of Dugan and out of bounds. And Benno back in for the Lakers. Up 3-1 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. She had the serving run in set two, was it? Or was it this last set? Uh, Berard. Oh, that's a pancaked up. Not calling it. But nobody went after it after, after Werner got it up. So play called dead. Oh, and that was a touch. Definitely off the top of the block there. Four-two Laker lead, set four. Set up for neighbors. Benno sets up for Holen. Got a lot of action already in this fourth Swing. set. Oh Brown oh, yeah. reaching reach. back. <laughs> she got oh, and off of neighbors. She was committed, right? Here comes mm -hmm. the overpass. Oh, it's a little deeper than I thought. Once she got up there, she had to hang up there. Some nice athletic play. Just going to get it over the net was Feist. Turn it over to the Mustangs. It will be Spalding getting the ball. Junior defensive specialist. Selfridge, the DS for DLB, also checks in. Brown, big swing. Kept alive by the Mustangs. Tipped by Klimple. Holen this time lightly gets it over the net and it falls for a kill. Jay little Holen. Off speed, little off speed shot. That's a tough play for even defense to read, right? Because the block's right there. Nice play by neighbors. Three players over. end up on the floor for Surrey. They get it over the net. Here's Eastos off the fingers of Caitlin Ryder. DLB with a large lead early on at 7-3. You know, Shea Holen's got her hand up here, right? You don't know what she's going to do defensively, so you kind of have to stay in your position. She just bloop, bloop over the block. Smart play. Smart player. Neighbors tries the same move. Here's Brown, kept alive by Spalding. 
Free ball for the Lakers. Go! Diving play by Nelson, but nobody could catch up to it. The Lakers keep the streak alive. It's now 8-3 with Poland continuing to serve. 33 regular season aces. The senior outside hitter and into the net. Ooh, a couple missed serves here, right? Mm -hmm. Better impactful. Mustangs need to capitalize, though. Right, right. Ooh. Spalding thought it was going to a different spot on the pass from Ryder. And that's just one point for the Mustangs. Set up for Anderson, just got back in and she'll get the kill. Block was there from Burrard and Werner, but nobody else from the Lakers in the area. Nick Hallberg, love that guy. Eastas into the net. And now Surrey putting together a bit of a run. They've scored a couple of points, trailing six to nine. Set it for Berard. Still continues to hit across her body. A lot of balls into the net, and now it's gonna end up at the scorer's table. Help PSP Network promote local athletes by following us on Twitter or X and Facebook, depending on what you still call it. Twitter. I feel like it won't change, though. I'm not even on there, though. <laughs> that was allowed up, okay. Block again Swing. by the Lakers. Berard reaching above the net. <laughs> Going after it with... Girding. Little shoot set. <gasps> Ooh, that one took an awkward spin. The Mustangs had a hard time reading it. Anderson tried, but didn't get it off the ground. Uh, nice play by DLB on the shoot set out to Yistas. I don't think Yistas expected it, but really what was most important is the Surrey defense didn't. Dugan tracks it down, stays on her side of the court. Cross her body. Right back into the net. Nice up by Werner. Nice job, oh, center. Went over the block from Girding. Mustangs weren't ready. Michaela Martin directing uh, the defense for Surrey, their head coach. 12-6 lead, BNC Bank scoreboard. Eastos out. out of bounds. Some Halloween trick-or-treaters here at the auditorium. That's an interesting group, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Got a couple babies and Barney, Barney and somebody from South Park, I yep. think. <laughs> Meeting of the minds. <laughs> Point for the Lakers. Getting closer and closer. Yeah, everything's rolling to DLB's the Region way. Six tournament. They've really come together as a team in set two, three, and four here. You know what I noticed from Surrey? Um, Makaya Girding's been pretty quiet lately. And, and honestly, everyone has. Anderson. Uh, Eastos and Benno in the same spot. There Warner's there. See what they do with this free ball. This is going to go to Girding. He's Ooh. blocked. Polin and Berard allowing nothing through. Whistle against Surrey. Back row attack, I, they're saying that Melissa Dugan left her feet. Ace for the Lakers. Time That's out. Logan Eastos. 15-7 lead for Delax Burlington. Hub International timeout taken by Surrey. Hub International Insurance located at 4204 Boulder Ridge Road in Northwest Bismarck. Call Hub International Insurance today for all of your personal and business insurance needs. More from District 12 on the PSP Network when we return. There's no place like the Country Club. 
18 holes of immaculate golf, along with golf simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, endless fun in the pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. Out of the timeout, 15-7 to Lax Burlington on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. With locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona, BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. Visit BNC Bank online today at bnc.bank. Logan Eastas serve into the net. That's tough to do out of a timeout. 8-15, Surrey trailing to Lax Burlington, Region 6 qualifier. That one up in the lights. Ryle's able to track it down. Set up for a hole in. Neighbors with a dig and uh, Anderson couldn't keep it alive. What I'm noticing here for, for Surrey, dig gets up and it seems like the second ball, just the placement of it, there's just not, either Dugan's not communicating for somebody else to get the ball loud enough or they're thinking she's gonna go get it, but I think just a little more communication. But again, when you get tired and you're down, that's the that's the things that happen. You stop communicating. Yep, right Great there. when you should do the opposite. So Paige Berard will serve for Delax Burlington. Just eight points away. Dugan for neighbors. Poland runs up to it. Sent back across by Melissa Dugan for Surrey. Nice up, Benno. Benno got there, but couldn't keep it inside the antenna. So that'll be a kill there for neighbors. Caitlin Ryder, if you're just joining us, reached 1,500 career digs earlier in this match. Nice dig by her right there. On cue. And good swing by neighbors. And nice touch by Feist on that ball. Lots of balls have dropped in that short six. Yeah, that's been a great spot for DLB, and I, I give them credit for kind of exploiting that on Surrey's side and getting a lot of points in the last three sets. I want to remind everybody, like, DLB lost the first set 25-11. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't close. Shaky start. Surrey came out of the gates hot. And that one goes out of bounds, and that expression said it all there from Matea Nelson. DLB cruising along in the fourth set. Erica Moen, head coach for Delax Burlington, described her team as athletic, and we've seen that on display today. Right there, a nice block. Werner and Brown. Right, right there. Olin back across the net, and Werner shuts it down. Kaylee Werner, the setter, playing at the net. Yeah, let's Get give her some, a little credit. Uh, we haven't talked about her much, Owen, but she's done a nice job distributing the ball when Paige Burrard is not. She's done some nice job defensively with a block, a couple blocks there. Um, and I know I've watched her play some great defense as a back row setter there on the defensive side. So great job by her. Got a whistle against Surrey. It would have been a point Laker any Lakers anyway. Coach Martin for Surrey getting some other players in, that's the freshman Ava Keller, number 16, who checks in for the first time. Oh, cool. Freshman call up for the tournament. Here's Neighbors. Point DLB, 22-9. Putting the finishing touches on a match that will send them to this very location on Monday. The Region 6 tournament. Yeah, and that's Here's Riles. Benno again. And Werner. That time doesn't go as she planned. There's one of the two Spaldings coming in the game for Mustangs. Oh, they're going to say there was a touch on the Mustangs. Which I'm a little surprised by, unless, unless honestly, as the ball was going up. It kind of nicks somebody's hands going up and out. But Lines Judge called it. 
And I trust them 98% of the time. <laughs> Not giving them 99, give them 98. Ken Costed would appreciate that. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh. Gonna Called be a, lift. A, a lift on Ava Feist. Good effort, though. D and honestly, um, DLB really, both teams have brought a ton of effort. Yep. But DLB sure turned it on in set two. Serve into the net, and we've got a serve pro set match point, actually. Match point, yeah. Got 14 match points for Delax Burlington. I love how you give that number. <laughs> well. I mean, you never know. I get it in volleyball. 13 match points now for the <laughs> Lakers. <laughs> it's not over. No, it's not. 11-24 BNC National Bank scoreboard. This is Mackenzie Neighbors. And I hope you and I call so many games that when you say 13 match points and it gets down to one, <laughs> I'll be looking at you going, this is why you well, do we'll this. We'll have a lot of games to do next week covering the entire Region 6 tournament. There should be nice pass eight games by there. Poland with one arm. Oh, she thought there was a shoot there. Oh, running into each other were the two seniors from Surrey playing their final match. Out, no touch. Brown wanted it. So you see how they do touch like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was always like, just do this. And really now it's like, show me the money, isn't it? Like yeah. spraying the money, that's what I would East, do. Uh, yelling tip. for touch. Kept alive, that's the freshman Keller there. Barrard, Freestas, they want to end it here. And that's how it's... Nope, nope no touch. Four. No yep. touch. No touch on the block. And we're down to 11 match points for Delax Burlington. Brown on the near side. There it is. And that will do it. Delax Burlington, their season stays alive with a three set to one win. It goes 11, 25, 25, 14, 25, 18, 25, 12. We'll have a lot of discussing to do as who to give our awards to in the plan planning team financial shots crossroads post game show coming up next after the break on the PSP network. Galax Burlington on to the Region 6 tournament. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <laughs> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all, except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips, it's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers. Moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP network is proudly brought to you by
looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession. Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Well, let's get right into the planning team, Financial Advisors, Shots Crossroads post-game show with an interview with our Sports Clips MVP of the match, Senior Libero from Deluxe Burlington, Camry Benno. You told us right when you got over here, it's such a relief you guys got the win today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how, how good does it feel to be moving on to the region tournament? Uh, well, it feels amazing. I just, going into this game, I knew that this wasn't going to be our last one. Us six seniors, we've worked so hard, we've been so close, and our team in general, like, we're a family, and I just couldn't let that up that's all that was running through my brain the entire time is this wasn't going to be our last one that's for sure and I'm excited to keep going Cambry you guys lost the first set 25 11 it wasn't okay. even close so I really what I what I saw for set two was just like a defensive like explosion mm -hmm. and I thought you were part of that mm -hmm. so talk to me about like what the the between the games was like after that first set what were the coaches talking about what were you talking about and what made you come out and just like literally you were spraying all over the floor <laughs> well after that first set it was kind of an eye-opener I think we do we do tend to start pretty slow sometimes and that was just kind of a big we actually we got to get going right away like that's that's not how we play and we knew that so we had to execute and I just I knew we needed somebody that had to bring the energy and I that's kind of my job. Like I'm here. That's what I'm here for. So I just knew that I had to get us going, stay positive the entire time, and not get our our mentality up and down. It's got to stay positive throughout, and that's just what I try to keep going. Yeah, and that's exactly why you're the MVP of the game because I really Thank thought you. like your energy kind of changed the trajectory of the match. Um, talk to me about like like your movement, right? Like you play a lot of six back. Okay, and you're going side to side on a lot of plays. I'm noticing when you come to the line, you're using a lot of one-arm plays, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Like, talk to me a little bit about your thinking there and your footwork mm -hmm. and what it's like being a varsity libero for DLB. Well, I've learned what's helped me a lot is um, like a split step kind of, and just like reading the hitter's shoulders, of course, watching their hand if they're gonna push deep corner. And that's what I've, I gotta stay on my toes. I do a little bounce every time <laughs> before I hit it. And it's really just watching their hands and their shoulders and just never keeping my eye off the ball and just don't let the ball touch the floor. That's what's running through my head half the time. It's yeah, and honestly, I don't I think take. a lot of balls touch the floor when you were around it. So kudos to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank I know you. you're going to go have a post-game meal. Thank you. Yeah. What, and what's that going to look like for you? Post-game meal? Yeah, what's your post-game meal going to be? Pizza, hopefully. That's what <laughs> I want. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Congratulations to Thank your whole you. team. Thank you. Yeah. All the best. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Yeah, that'll Good. be awesome. Region mm -hmm. 6. Cambry Benno, Sports Clips MVP of the match. Sports Clips bring uh, is the home of the MVP haircut experience. Sports Clips will keep you looking your best. Check in online with a hairstylist today at sportsclips.com. Continuing on with the post-game show. Oh. Her energy in the interview was like her energy yeah. on the floor. The Lax Burlington, they uh, they knew what job had to be done today. That was to uh, to win, of course, and to advance to the Region 6 tournament, coming in as the number three seed, a team that was looked at as a dark horse by many to uh, to take the title. Obviously, that doesn't happen, but still, similar feeling. You're on, you're on the Region tournament, like we said in the pregame. You still have a chance at State. I think they're a dangerous team, Owen, and here's why. The, what their coach said, that they're athletic. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you're athletic, muscle memory, right? Uh, uh, the dangerous, like, they're dangerous coming into the Region 6 tournament because they're athletic. Uh, what I heard uh, 
can we talk about them starting out slow? You can't start out slow in the Region 6 tournament when it's a single elimination. So they have to fix that. They need to be athletic and ready to go with that energy at the start of that first match on Monday. Monday, right, is the first? Yep. yep. Monday. Um, and then I think they're a little scary. I mean, they got lots of experience here. They got one, two, three, four, five, six seniors, right, that all kind of have some significant playing time, especially with Berard, Benno, Holen, right? Feist mm -hmm. came in there. Feist had some nice plays tonight, too. Unique little blocks here and there. Um, so she played well. But yeah, they got a lot of experience. So they're going to be dangerous. Region 6 turning time. They were also described by their coach, Eric Amon, as goofy. I don't know what that <laughs> implies. But uh, as well, for, they're super excited for pizza. Uh, yeah. Post game pizza. As for Surrey, uh, tough to see that season end. They reached a couple of milestones in this tournament. I know you like to point out the seniors that have given a lot of effort uh, throughout their entire career, but the Mustangs end with a one and two record in the tournament. They had a lot of tough matchups. Bishop Ryan in round one, Mohawk Lansford Sherwood uh, yesterday, and they ran into the Lax Burlington today. What'd you like from the Mustangs in this tournament? You know, I think honestly, overall their effort, I think they just ran out of gas. And you know, maybe we're not giving enough credit to the fact that when you lose a starter, Cruzel, yep. right, they lost her, and on a weird play, I think she just mm -hmm. rolled her ankle either on her own or just on her on her teammate's uh, uh, foot when there was a second hit or a double hit called. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't even a finished play. Uh, but really, kudos to Melissa Dugan. Received a great milestone yesterday in terms yep. of assists. She's a senior. She did a wonderful job. And she was really just in the right place a lot in that match. It just wasn't enough. Caitlin Ryder, you know, she received a milestone today and digs. She's a senior. Um, Matea Nelson and Candence. Candence, would you say, or is it Cadence? Uh, Cadence. It's Cadence. Uh, just spelt wrong here in the program. Cadence Ellsworth. So kudos to them, their families, all the time that was put in, the practices, early morning, uh, sore bodies, all of that. Kudos to them, and I wish them a wonderful rest of their senior year and whatever they choose to do to finish out their grade 12 year, whether it's another sport or just focus on their academics and get ready for whatever they choose to do in post-graduation life. One more segment still to come in our post-game show. That's the jobbers move of the game. We saw one early on from Surrey, but I think if you pick any highlight that Cambry Benno made, <laughs> uh, there, was, there was a lot of running around over there making plays to see what we got. Oh, what do we got, Nick Holberg? Well, that was a block. I think that was from uh, last night, but. Oh, we're back to the Halloween outfits. I don't know, do we have a move of the game? Not really. Well, you know what, let's talk about, let's talk about Benno again. And let's talk about what she said in terms of footwork, right? She's constantly moving. Anytime you solidify your feet, right, it's tough to move, mm -hmm. right? I could have you try to do that right yeah. now, Owen. But when you're on the balls of your feet or you're constantly moving, and I honestly start, I've been doing that in pickleball. If you stay stagnant, you can't get to balls. If you're moving your feet, you can get to balls. And she was literally six back. She's getting to both lines, and she's getting to them handily. And then when she couldn't, she's out there just making athletic plays with one arm. For sure, the mover of the game, I thought. I'm trying to think of other DLB moves. I mean, really, let's give the coaching staff some credit from a set one 25-11 loss to a set two 25-14 win yep. and then just took off with the match. So they must have made some amazing moves in that uh, in between the game set one and set two. So I don't know, maybe we should give it to the coaching staff. Jobber's move of the game. They focus on the details of the process without ever losing sight of the big picture. Their efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management keeps everyone on the same page with the locations in Bismarck. Why not Fargo and Aberdeen? Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. I do want to give it to the coaches, not just for their coaching prowess, but the fact that Erica Moen yes. wore an outfit for Halloween. Let's the, give that the, up the for her. Match. Happy Halloween to all the PSP fans, for sure. Here's the uh, remaining bracket in District 12. We've got two games to go including the next one, Bishop Ryan and Berthold, Region 6 qualifier with a championship to follow. Hope you stay tuned or welcome into the broadcast. We'll have the pregame show for that one, sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Coming up after the break, you're watching District 12 Volleyball on the PSP Network.
Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24 seven. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers, moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. 
Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... can happen anywhere, at any time, to anyone. It's not really something you can schedule on your calendar. But when it happens to you and it's not your fault, there's one law firm to remember. That firm is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We live here and take pride in helping our community. We know this area inside and out. We put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you. That is what we're all about. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. When it comes to your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Back for more volleyball in the Minot Auditorium. It's time for our second Region 6 qualifier of the evening. Bishop Ryan and Berthold. Two teams hovering right around 500 with their records this season. Bishop Ryan 19 and 18 counting their postseason performance so far. And Berthold a surprise to be in this moment after trailing two sets to none against Glenburn yesterday. They are 16 and 17 by the way this season. Two and seven in district play where the Bombers uh, with a regular regular season loss to Bishop Ryan three sets to none. Well. Bishop Ryan had a tough matchup against our Redeemers, the number one seed yesterday. Kind of got smoked in three sets. Wasn't very close. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Owen. 
And uh, on the Berthold side, I talked about it earlier. Came from behind, two sets to none against Glenburn. A lot of people left the gym, actually. I heard a couple stories of what? Berthold won that <laughs> match? Well, yes, they are. They are still here. This is the Berthold Bombers, and you got to think with the extra life they were granted yesterday, they're not going to let it go to waste. No, I think they're going to be here and they're going to show up. And I think the Simon, is it Simon's sisters? Are they sisters or are they cousins? Not What's too going sure on about there? That. We got grade 10 and grade 11, so that's. That's pretty quick behind each other, but I think they need to be uh, really the biggest presence. And I would honestly say that Shane Simons, she seems to be kind of a, a verbal leader out there, but I'd like to see her keep more balls in play. And then Casey, Casey can do a lot of things front row and back row, so look for her to kind of be powerful. Um, I really like Shenfish. Shenfish, if she can have a really good defensive game and a good serve-receive passing game, Right, so that uh, Berthold can run their offense. I think it's going to be it's going to be a great match for Berthold. Bishop Ryan, on the other hand, um, you know, you look at their grade 12 players. Udekwe, right? She, she needs to appear uh, both Toki and Chanello. and I know Toki's kind of been their number one, and so and she's grade 10, so. Uh, look for her to have a great match and then the seniors to show up and, and make their presence known to, to see if Bishop Ryan can honestly extend their season into Region 6. I honestly think Bishop Ryan would, would probably be surprised if they did. I think they've just struggled this year. Yeah. I know that Nick has talked about it. It's been an up and their coach, Nick Tice, has talked about it. It's been an up and down year. So to get to the Region 6 playoffs would be a success for them. And so look for them to kind of key off that. Uh, one person that I did not mention, for Berthold that I'm looking at right now is Maya Nesham. I was gonna say, yeah, how could you forget? Yeah, I don't know. I just saw her in the in the uh, timeout, and I'm like, wait a second. She was the she was our MVP, yep. right? Wasn't she of the match? And she did such a nice job athletically tipping the ball over the block, and then a, such a wonderful sharp cross court shot that Maya had. So look for her to be a big presence for Berthold as well. Berthold's coach Lisa Bryant told me the keys were to find open areas. That's exactly what Nesham did in uh, yesterday's come from behind win over Glenburn. Starting lineups being announced here inside the gym. So we've got time for a quick ad read. Minot State University with more than 96% of recent Minot State grads employed or continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Minot State University be seen, be heard, be you. Planet Pizza, try the blue buffalo or the plain cheese at Planet Pizza tonight. Call 701-852-1700, Planet Pizza. Serving the Magic City for over 25 years, there's no pizza quite like it. And their chicken wings. Their chicken wings are awesome, Owen. And I have a feeling we could convince Nick to get some tonight, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's go to break. <laughs> quick one, <laughs> quick one before this match begins on the PSP Network. <laughs> Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. From the 26 yard line nearing the serve pro red zone are the demons already. Hand off Hanky. Dances in the hole. Now he speeds and bursts outside. Accelerates to the 20. 15, 10, two touches, two touchdowns. Carter Hanky, this time they go left and he just does what he does so well is he read the block. It wasn't off tackle, it wasn't off the guard on the inside. And he took his time and he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the demons, helping him out.
Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. excited for a possible trip to the Region 6 tournament and to keep their state tournament hopes alive. Bishop Ryan in gray, Berthold in white. As we begin our second region qualifier of the day, Delax Burlington is already in to the tournament that starts next week, along with our Redeemers and South Prairie Max. Those two teams will battle it out in the District 12 Championship coming up later tonight. Starting six for these two teams, starting with the Bishop Ryan Lions, Toki Udekwe, Canelo Udekwe, uh, Elena Johansson, Tiana Weeks, Ann Fricky, and Leah Charlie. With the uh, libero, it looks like, yeah, that was Weeks. For Berthold, it will be Lorella Brown, Alyssa Lindahl, Casey Simons, Aubrey Shep, Maya Nesham, and Shane Simons. And this just in, the Simons girls are sisters. Casey and Shane, thanks Lisa Johnson, appreciate the text. Now to figure out if Lorella Brown and L Brown are sisters. <laughs> Lisa Johnson, do you know if Lorella Brown and L Brown are sisters? Please text me. Thanks to all the fans for listening, Absolutely. right? You know, I really, well, Nick definitely appreciates it. We appreciate it. Um, and let your friends know, let other people know, let your friends, family, anybody that's connected to these teams that are playing, let them know that PSP Network is broadcasting live. And it's also, once we're done with the live stream, it's put on the interweb. And so you can get it anytime you want and watch it anytime you want. And don't, send some positive reviews. Don't just watch, also subscribe so you don't miss any of PSP Network's broadcasts. First set goes to the Bombers. Great start for them with uh, a side out. This is Maya Nesham, team leading 68 aces in the regular season. Senior outside hitter, MVP of the match yesterday in their win over Glenburn. And that attack goes out of bounds. And Fricky was the one that tried it for Bishop Ryan. Two nothing Bombers on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Some strong serving happening by Berthold. Johansson with the dig, but nobody else from the Lions could get there. And it's up to three nothing. Outside Udekwe. That was Canelo. Set up back row attack by Tiana Weeks. Too far, Nesham just barely got out of the way. Dream start for the Bombers here, up four points to none. In the middle, Leah Charlie, dug by Nesham. Near side with Kelsey Simons, she gets the kill. Kelsey Simons, the player to watch according to coach Lisa Bryant bringing it early on. Bringing the transition, bringing the energy all off of the service game here by Maya Nesham. Out. Six points in a row, Nick Tice. Wonder what he's thinking right now and he's gonna call a timeout. Gonna try and restart this one after falling behind 6-0 to the birth old Bombers. You're watching District 12 Volleyball on the PSP Network. We'll be back after this break. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good from simple acts of kindness 
to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. Halloween volleyball has got off to a scary start for Bishop Ryan, trailing 6 0 to the Berthold Bombers. Out of the timeout. That's Jerica Shenfish starting libero for Berthold. Diving play made by Toki Udekwe. Here's Kelsey Simons, already Ooh. one kill, couldn't get that one in the lines or on the board. Just out. Ball was a little bit definitely um, off the net. And so she had to, to adjust and couldn't keep the ball in. Sub in for Bishop Ryan, Olivia DeMars to serve. Over the line. Hmm. Gotta look at the, yep, oh. they got it. Oh wow, you saw it. I did. Server hit the line. You don't hear that called much. You know, and I almost, yesterday in the, and I can't remember who it was, and that's good that I wouldn't call her anyways. Oh, no. Uh, but there was someone who was doing that kind of, like, jump float, and I, I was like, she's landing before she hits it, and she's over the line. Berthold serve again. Shane Simons there. Balls I want her to keep in, if you remember in the mm -hmm. pregame broadcast here. So now this will be Tiana Weeks. Leads the region and digs. Hmm. Nice. Off the block from Johansson. Casey That's Simons looks good, Owen. Second kill yeah. already for Simons. Yeah, approach eight, looks good. Eight, How she's bombers. swinging literally looks good. Not messing around nope. like they were yesterday. Nice block by her. Nice block. Yep. DeMars tracks it down for the Lions. Toki to Kinello. Set up into the net by oh. Simon's tip. They don't call it. No, and <laughs> she tiptoed and she was, her full foot was under there, Both Casey Simon's, yeah. And they were interacting with each other. It's supposed to be called, but. Simon's nice play by her. gets it done. Bishop Ryan, it seems, playing a little frantic on defense. They're bolting around the court. In the net for the Simon sisters. Point for Bishop Ryan, they trail by six. Cambry Johannes, junior setter serving. Who's going to get it? It's Nesham. Free ball opportunity for the Lions. Weeks to Johan Johannes to Johansson. Off the block and out of bounds. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm watching uh, Johannes, and I, I'd love to see her kind of make a super impact in this match for Bishop Ryan, Elena. Because I she's got a lot of energy. She's talking to her team. She's got good technique. I watched her on a couple approaches, her passing. So look, look for her to make a difference here. Johanna still serving for the Lions. Here's Simons goes way up. Can't find the open area on the court. Some colorful Halloween outfits yeah. in the crowd here. Owen, tonight on the Hollows Eve. Kind of wish my um, compadres here, my colleagues Nick Holberg and Owen Patterson, would have dressed up, but I'm I'm the lone soldier. That's in. Wow, Casey Simons is bringing it in the yeah, first set. Yeah, bringing the heat, bringing the heat. Some smart plays as well, blocking. She's got all the energy. She's showing up. Jump serve goes out of bounds. That peanut butter and jelly came in a little bit late to the gym. Oh, oh 
Oh my gosh, that's a cool outfit. You guys could borrow it. Peanut butter on my left, jelly on my right. Nick's not thrilled. No. Nice play. Look at that approach. Whoa. Oh, in the net, though. <laughs> and fricky. <laughs> Shane Simons uh. is like, she was in the net. She was in the net. Totally in the net. 11-8 <laughs> Bombers here in set one. Fricky will try it again this time. Oh. Had so much power on the last one, and that one just not enough. Honestly, her thinking is right for both of the plays. She just has to execute better. That's pretty simple. So love the aggressiveness, though, and the thinking. Toki Odekwe across the net. Set up for, oh, nobody. It was too far for Shep. Nesham wasn't there. Lions will bring in Caitlin O'Farrell to serve. Trailing nice by three. Nice time to bring up uh, Aubrey Shep, who had those two big blocks in the transition or the kind of the turning point set of set three yesterday when they completely turned it around after being down two sets to none. O'Farrell does her job coming off the bench with a good serve. Lions trailing by two. Back row, O'Farrell. Johansson, Tokyo Dekwe. Nesham tips it over the net again. <laughs> Middle for Fricky, block. There's Aubrey Shep, just hey, like you said. Hey, that's right, she's back from last night. Absolutely. Some more subs coming in for Bishop Ryan. That looks like it is number 10, Sienna Ronning. Jerica Shenfish serving for Berthold. And Udekwe has the kill. Toki Udekwe. Roger Ward Moving and Storage has been proudly helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Schedule move or to find a quote, Roger Ward Moving and Storage. Set up for Shep. Lions were there. Telki, sorry, Canelo from the back row. Nesham, Johansson, Fricky hits it over. Hmm. Set up from Canelo to Toki over the block and out of bounds. It'll be Nesham serving for the Bombers. Up three points, 14-11. Ooh, that was kind of a new serve there. Credit Casey Simons there, that was quite the play. Just out, yeah. <laughs> That uh, Maya Nesham serve kind of remind me of a serve that I developed in college. I didn't even have it in high school where you spin it and then you hit it so that it has spin. Lot, everyone kind of does the float serve now. Yeah. Not a lot of spin on serves. Shep Definitely in class net. B. Well, Shep's defense has been spectacular. Hasn't found the rhythm offensively just yet. Look at Bishop Ryan creeping back into the set. After a 6-0 start for the Bombers. How about Casey Simons? Shep gets it over the net. I don't think Shep meant to get it over the net. <laughs> oh! And off of Simons, what a big kill there. We might need to keep that. By Elena Johansson, Jobber's move of the game already? I like, think so. move and move. Here's the Ryan replay, look at yeah. it right now. Two moves. Here's Simons, crushes one, and then Johansson responds. That's fun. fun Simons tips it over 12. the net. Udekwe there. Johannes blocked by Casey Simons and Aubrey Shep. Tied at 14. Definitely in. Simons block again, hit out by Lorella Brown, and the Lions have their first lead. 
Coach must, must see something here or just sees obviously the momentum shifting over to the Bishop Prime. Hub International Insurance, timeout on the court. Contact your local Hub agents, Josh Cattell or Michael Borman at 355-3100 for your personal and business insurance needs. We'll go to break on the PSP Network. Lions have the lead for the first time tonight. personal injury until it happens. But when injury strikes, so will your bills and the turmoil and everything you'll miss out on. It's a mess and you need someone to help it all make sense. That someone is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We know the territory and the process and we work smart and hard to get you results. It's easier to get back to normal knowing there's a team behind you. We're the ones the other side doesn't want you to call. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. Point for the Bombers coming back from break. Simons. That was Casey Again, Simons. Yep. She's got to have a few in the first set. Mm -hmm. I mean, a few is in like seven. Serve into the net and the Lions have the lead right back. Nice pass. Casey Simons add another tally. So right there, wonderful serve receive play. Pass by Shenfish, set by Brown, kill by Simons. Wonderfully done, out of the timeout. Johansson, solo block. Casey Simons can do it on defense as well. Not sure there was any touch on that, Owen, but definitely Simons is all over the place. She's all I really see right now on the floor. Making a difference everywhere. Udekwe to Udekwe. And off the hand of Lorella Brown. Johannes to serve for the Lions. What, what have the Lions figured out to, to get back in this first set after such a poor start? Well, they haven't stopped Simons. So that's not the key. Uh, they're keeping balls in play. And they're hustling. Look at that. All sides of the court there. They get it across the net to Shane Simons. Tipped by Brown. Lions recover. <laughs> Johansson wanted it, but... Toki Odekwe took the kill herself. Yeah, I think Toki, uh, honestly, here's the critical point in the match, or in the set. It happens in every set, right? It's about 17, 18, 19 in that realm. Who takes control if they're not tied? And right now, Bishop Bryan has a two-point lead. Like, that's after they were down, like, 7-1 to start. Mm -hmm. So I think overall it's their energy. They just change their energy. Good hustle. Simon's chasing after it. But another nice play by Toki Udekwe. That was Nesham flying all over the place. Are they done with their timeouts? I'd be calling another timeout. Uh, each team has one left. Hmm. Good pass. 2017 Bishop Bryan. There's number 10, Casey Simons, having a spectacular opening set. Yeah, exceptional. But Bishop Ryan hanging in there. It's a really good question. I, I can't pinpoint anything specifically except keeping balls in play. And if you're noticing, serve receive is really impactful. Right there, yep. pass into the net. The pass off the serve. Simons continues at the service line for the Bombers. Good pass here, see what they do. Ronning up for Johansson, top of the net kill. For Elena Johansson, junior middle hitter. Points she's, for the Lions. She's back to serve. So who's going to make a difference in the front row for Bishop Ryan here? Good pass. Back row, Simons. Sam. You betcha. <laughs> yeah, you betcha. I mean, just give her the ball anywhere. Nearing give her the ball in Bismarck and she'll get a kill. Double digit kills in the first set. 
Casey Simons. Oh, you're keeping track again? Uh, yeah, my numbers have been a little bit off this <laughs> tournament, but go, I... Go. I Twenty-two twenty. Bishop Ryan in front, BNC National Bank scoreboard. With locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona, BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. Visit BNC Bank online today at bnc.bank. Maya Nesham. Over the net to Udekwe. Back to Udekwe. Out. Out and no touch. Toki wanted it though, and I love that. Any time that I got a dig in the front row, like uh, just coming off the block and just something that was dumped, I was wanting the ball. I love when a player calls for the ball. And honestly, as a setter, like I could hear absolutely everybody talking. That's in. Ace over the head of Johansson in the Time back row. Set. This one has a feeling it might go way past 25 points. You Oh, the 36 from UND well, a couple I, weeks I ago. Well, I didn't say that. Okay. I just said maybe 28. Okay, here we go. Ricky. Dig by Shane Simons. Nice sack. Middle for Shep. Way up and over for Nesham. Somebody Pass hit to it. Brown. Back to Nesham. There you go. Block out. 23 22. Bombers back in front. It's been a while. Jerrica Shenfish serving. The libero for the Bombers. Set up for Udekwe. Oh, get Ooh, it. Nesham Go. got it. Yep. Over to Shemp. Back to Nesham. Nice Finds hit Johansson there. in the back row. Toki taps it over the net. Brown. Udekwe wants it again. Out. Out. No touch. Oh, and there is touch. Yep. Oh, he did get it again. Yep. Upper official called it, and the lines judge called it. We have uh, one heck of a first set here. I thought Bishop Ryan was running away with it. Make your serve. Udekwe does. Pass by Shen Fish. Here's Nesham back row Tight. into the net. Udekwe Good hits it over. Shep. And we continue on. 23-23. Oh, missed hit there by Canelo Udekwe. How much you want that one back? Yeah, tough ball as you're moving backwards. Serve pro set point. One set nice. point. And it's in. That's an ace. Let's see if we got a Ryan replay. That does it for set one, 25-23. Berthold battles it out. On to set two next on the PSP Network. There it is. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up, Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. There is no place like the Country Club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with golf simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, endless fun in the pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today.
Jersey Mike slices your sub right in front of you, see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is the rhythm of the slice. Danny? Huh. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. South Prairie Max in action up next against our Redeemers, but we've got a really good one on our hands in this Region 6 qualifier between Berthold and Bishop Ryan. Bombers took the first set. If you're just joining us, 25-23 was the score. Bombers Serving first, Maya Nesham. Hit in the air. Nice play. Ricky. <laughs> she keeps Shenfish going. chasing after it in her own bench. Everybody's moving. Middle with Ann Fricky. Shenfish tried, but couldn't reach. Fricky worked hard on that play. It'll be DeMars serving for the Lions. She seems to have no fear. Fricky sophomore middle hitter. I was just looking too. You were looking. I'm like grade 10. Yeah. Yep. Gotta go. Another sophomore there. Toki Udekwe makes the play. Sorry, that was Canelo Udekwe. Senior. Simons. What a first set she had, close to 10 kills. And a couple of blocks, an ace. Middle Johansson, out. Yep. Berthold on the board in set two. Alyssa Lindahl checks into the game. Nice up by Shane Simons there. Heck of a play. Nesham in the back row over to Brown. Shane Simons let that ball come down a little bit too long, I think I noticed. E yeah, either that or she went up early, right? So she's up early trying to hang, trying to hang, trying to hang, and then last second hits it into the net. Blocked by Johansson and running. Bishop Ryan on the attack here. Free ball. No, oh, no, not really. Shenfish. This is a tricky one. Point for the Lions. And they have a 5-1 lead here. And yeah, Berthold got out to a 6-0 lead in set one, and we saw what Bishop Ryan did. So it's serve-receive. Like, look where the pass is, right? And now you have to give a, essentially a free ball. Sienna Ronning. She's going to get in the stat sheet with that kill right there. Timeout, Berthold. Berthold taking the early timeout here. Completely different scenario as we saw in set one. Is that, are we looking at the crowd here with the Halloween outfits? Your car, you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Back in the Minot Auditorium, set two out of the Bombers' timeout, trailing one to six. On the BNC Bank scoreboard, Shane Simon sends it over to the Lions' side. Dig by Lindahl into the net. Bishop Ryan's lead up to six. Yeah, it's up to six, and it's also up to six with Casey Simons in the front row. Serve out of bounds by Tiana Weeks. 
Minot State University with more than 96% of recent MSU grads employed are continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Minot State University be seen, be heard, be you. What happened there, Melissa? Well, uh, Johannesson was seen. <laughs> and she was heard. <laughs> Without a doubt, yeah, she, uh, she she's playing well. And honestly, if you remember in the first set, I, I said she needs to kind of have an impact. And she's a really good, she's got great technique. Let's give her the ball more. Nick Tice. And there is Casey Simons with yet another kill. Yeah, but if I'm Bishop Ryan, I'm happy. I, we got eight points with her in the front row. Set up for Toki. Toki Udekwe. Lions back on the board, 9-3. Udekwe, I mean, she's got to do some things in, in track and field. I mean, that girl can jump. Team leader in kills. Here's Udekwe again, sends it over to the Bombers. Middle with Shane Simons. Udekwe near side, goes right to the middle. Nobody was there. It was a block set up by Simons and Lindahl went around it. She sure did, and that's that has a lot to do with her hanging in the air for so long and then being able to tip it low to the net. Nice athletic play. Tip kill. Nesham. She gets a kill. Cambry Johannes might have got a little aggressive there on, on defense as Johannesson was heading over there to get the ball. Fricky in the middle, blocked by Shep. The defensive standout for Berthold. Shane Simon, sophomore outside hitter at the service line for the Bombers. Back row, Casey nice. Simons, perfect. That was beautiful. I mean, it honestly wasn't even put up directly in front of six, in front of Simons. It was kind of put over to towards five. And uh, she went over and got that. I'm, I'm digging that play. As in digging it, not digging it. Like, oh. you know what I mean? Like, I'm liking yeah. it. I wasn't, granted, if I was playing defense, I likely would have done that ball. Owen. <laughs> Well, it's just a three-point lead now for the Lions. Creeping back. Berthold, oh. Shane Simons just off the mark. Substitutions in for Bishop Ryan, Leah Charlie, and Riley Dieter. Dieter will serve. Udekwe in the middle over to Free Charlie. Ball. A little out of position there. Shep in the middle. Tip over the net. Aubrey Shep. Just over the net and over the solo block. Into short six or deep three. Nice play. Nice play by Aubrey Shep. Three point game here. Earth hold a one set to nothing lead already, but they trail in set two, eight, 12. Region six qualifier. Who will be the fourth team from District 12 in that region tournament? Nesham, too high. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm if I'm Berthold, I'm setting Casey Simons back row some more. Definitely on that play with the setter kind of pushed back into the deep part of their their court. Toki Udekwe. On the open space there. Nobody went for it for Berthold, 13-8. Somebody will go now. There's Simons. Pass to Brown. Middle, Shep blocked by Ann Fricky and Leah Charlie. Leah Charlie, I don't think we've mentioned her name. Not too much, Watch, was in no, the starting so nice lineup. Nice job for them. High pass from Simons. 
Again, I would Shep be in the middle, back tries the tip. Net. Yeah, net violation. Bombers do get the point, trail 9-14. Berthold has played the most amount of sets of anybody in this tournament, besides oh, really? DLB and Surrey. 3-1 in the opening round against Dallas Burlington, and 3-2 yesterday against Tight. Denver. Tight. Jeez. Weeks wins the battle there. Or Fricky, Fricky wins the battle there. Young player. I think she's got some talent, though. Annie Fricky. There's Simons block this time, but it's out. Johansson and Charlie skied for the block. I think she might get the ball every single time in the front row here, Casey Simons. I'm setting her every time. She's in the middle right now. Goes up for the block, doesn't get it. Johansson gets it through. She was caught at the net there. Udekwe to Udekwe. Tipped by Laurella Brown, but it falls on the Berthold side. Shep comes off the court for Shenfish. This is definitely a big lead. 16 to 10. Good decision by Nesham to let it go. Side out, Bombers get it right back, 11-16. Planet Pizza, there's no pizza quite like it. Call now at 701-852-1700 for the blue buffalo or the plain cheese, or as earlier mentioned, the, the, the wings. The chicken wings ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Point for the Lions, 17-11. Brown. For Simons. <laughs> Johansson was in the net. She was doing everything she could. She got tip on the block. She was trying to tip it back over and just all those movements threw her into the net. Simons back row, she's serving. Up for Odekwe. Good touch. Great touch on the block there. Here's Nesham. Cross court. Picked up by Toki. Oh. Went the wrong way off of the arm of Brown. Lions with an important point there as they go back up by six. Shenfish passes it over the net out of bounds. Lead grows to seven. They go to Nesham this time. Back row into the net, Casey Simons. Timeout, Berthold. Their second of the set. They trail 20 to 12 of the BNC Bank's scoreboard. Back with the rest of set two on the PSP network after this commercial break. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Banking is some of the most important things in your life and banking at the right bank is very important. We're really proud of our bank because we have great people and our people are what make our bank go. We always want to treat our customers right and do the best job we can for them. And try to do things to help make our communities better. While we were away, Bishop Ryan added to their lead with a kill. 21-12, set two. 
Yeah, really nice set by Cambry Johannes, a back set, uh, and they were kind of clumped over there, so I don't know. Great, it wasn't the decision I would have made, but it was effective as can be. Maya Nesham responds with a kill for herself and Berthold. Has some ground to make up, significant ground here. Berthold did take set one. After they were down. Up and down. Yeah, they were up by quite a bit early on. Yep, and then down by just out. Yeah. I think they were down 19-17. Yeah, it wasn't and too much. It yep, was 20, 23, 22 maybe. And then they came alive. But this is a tough amount of points to make up this late. With Bishop Ryan up 22. Riley 13. Dieter serving. Nesham, there we go. Two out of the last three for Maya Nesham. What I'm noticing though is is Bertholds, they're still positive over there, right? Still in the lead. You're right, the match lead, yeah, for sure. You never know. Jeez. It's unbelievable to watch her approach. Udekwe couldn't keep the ball in bounds. 15-22, Shenfish serving for the Bombers. Pass by Johansson to Johannes. <laughs> Fricky in the middle. Out again. Two unforced errors here by Bishop Ryan. And Berthold trails by six. 16-22. Leah Charlie, she was, she's yelling for the ball. She wants the ball. She ends up. Now she's across court. It's worked a couple times and it works again. Maya Nesham, three kills on this run for the Bombers. And they're getting the run they want. A couple more would be good. There's one. An ace by Shenfish. Timeout, Bishop Ryan. Owen, we Hub got another International center. Insurance timeout on the court. The UPS store located on South Broadway and Minot open Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 7, and Saturday from 8.30 to 3. The UPS store located in the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all of your packaging and shipping needs. Timeout, Lions, and a timeout by us on the PSP Network. The trick to throwing well is knowing where you want the ball to go. Like how the local bankers at First Western Bank and Trust take the time to learn about you and recommend the banking services like online banking or personal loans that keep your goals on target. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Back from the timeout. Time to remind you Northern Plains Heating and Air is a sponsor of tonight's game on PSP Network. Northern Plains Heating and Air has over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts. Find them online at northernplains.com. Berthold on quite the run here late in set two, trailing 18-22 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Set up for Udekwe. Oh, good save by it. Simons. You have a chance here. And they here. get it across. Oh, oh Brown. Had unable. a chance. Good hustle, everybody. But a good run. Here's the deal. Like, Berthold just needs to get this next set out, period. 23 Whatever 18. they need to do. Toki Udekwe at the service line. Up to the middle, Shep. Back row. Collected by Johansson. Udekwe to Udekwe. In the middle, that's Casey Simons. Over to Nesham. Cross court again, too far. Just out. Serve pro set point for the Bishop Ryan Lions. Drain technicians and 24 7 emergency service. With fire and water cleanup and restoration, it's serve pro. Into the net. Berthold still with an opportunity. Five set points for the Lions. And remember, Nesham's a good server. Lion Nesham at yeah. serving for the Bombers. Team leading 68 aces this season. Perfect timing. 2024. 
Berthold needs to be ready for anything thrown back at them. And into the net, that's gonna end set two. What a tightly contested match it's been so far. One set apiece after Berth, uh, sorry, Bishop Ryan takes that one 25-20. Stick around, we've got a lot of great volleyball to come on the PSP Network. Right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24 seven. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Nobody thinks about personal injury until it happens. But when injury strikes, so will your bills and the turmoil and everything you'll miss out on. It's a mess and you need someone to help it all make sense. That someone is Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. We know the territory and the process, and we work smart and hard to get you results. It's easier to get back to normal knowing there's a team behind you. We're the ones the other side doesn't want you to call. We're on your side. We're Schweigert, Clemine, and McBride. Aubrey Shep at the net. Sliding dig there by Toki Udekwe, and then Canelo keeps Can it alive as well. Canelo just all over the place. Nice job. There's Charlie. Oh. Nesham to the back corner. It's in. Maya Nesham making more plays. Update from District 11. Hmm. Region qualifier TGU with a two set to none lead over Ned Rose. Did West Hope win that? First? Yes. Oh, they did. So they're going to the region. Is that our region? Yep. Region oh. six. So, so we West will Hope, see West Hope Newburg. The Newburg West Hope Eagles. Oh next wow. Week. Okay, cool. I got an affinity for West Hope and Newburg, so appreciate seeing them on the volleyball court next week. Lots of great people out of that area. A lot of one-arm plays in the first two matches. People just athletes in desperation. Lorella Brown tried a quick one there against Lions and Shep blocks. Good timing. Goes up again. Johansson over Shep. Coming to Simons. There we are. Simons gets it right back. Diving play made by Tokyo Dekwe. Now hits it over the net, received by Shane Simons. Middle by Shep and a block. Leah Charlie, along with Elena Johansson, Ryan Replay on your screen. Olivia DeMar is serving up 2-1. Set three. Kill again for Casey Simons. That's a beautiful play there. Can we see that one again, Nick? Ryan Replay on your screen. Beautiful line shot out of power, and really the ball's kind of off the net too. Shep, 
Pass by Johansson. Gets it right back. Blocked by Simons. Free ball. Free ball. <laughs> Armed pass. Bishop Prime having to go all over the court to keep it alive. Simons keeps it up. Johansson nice rifles dig. it to the back row. Dig by Nesham. Nesham on that, yep. Canelo Adekwe. Sideways off of Alyssa Lindahl. Lions. Have the lead at 3-2. Roger Ward Moving and Storage has been proudly helping the region with their moving and storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Overpass on that server save. Nice. Simon's up again. Johansson takes advantage. She's playing well, Owen. Yeah. Elena Johansson, team leader in kills, junior middle hitter. Nice pass. Simons. In. Casey's got to be close to 20. Good touch, good touch. Go in. Nesham to Brown. Everybody back and yeah, play. Make it over. Odekwe with the kill. That's Canelo. Nice job by Canelo Odekwe. Again, so athletic, hangs in the air. And I thought Simons was a little early on the block there. The timing of it. Nice slide. Mm. <laughs> that was a beauty. Trajectory she was a little bit it. too low. <laughs> yeah. Cambry Johannes serving for Ryan. Three point lead all of a sudden. Ludekwe too far out of bounds. Point for Berthold, trailing 4-6 on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Your life is busy. We'll make managing your money easy. With locations in North Dakota and Arizona, visit BNC Bank online, bnc.bank. Pass by Johannes, deemed a double hit. One point advantage for the Lions. Back row for sure. Simons, that one was too high this time. Fricky back in for the Lions. It'll be Johansson serving. Some more costumes on display. Oh. oh there's the referee. Oh, we saw one? Yep. Nesham. Beauty. The throw kill. The th <laughs> oh, it's got it down. Let's put that on move of the possible move of the match. The throw kill. We got a Ryan replay. Meanwhile, in the live Beautiful. game here, Udekwe tips it over the net. Nesham to Brown. They're playing too fast for a replay, even. <laughs> Shep. <laughs> Throw kill, that one didn't work. No, it didn't, and honestly. That, that's Jan the Maya Nesham thing. Uh, the legendary Janice Girding, <laughs> up official, uh, and I can't lie about it. She's a good friend of mine. I love her body language. She let that first one go that Aubrey kind of threw, and then the second one, she was like, uh, no, no, we can't throw it like that. That'll be four hits against the Bombers, and the Lions are up 9-6. I think it has to be the shape of your hand. Like honestly, when you're, and I don't know if, if you can see my hand here, Nick, but like I think you honestly have to take it like this and push it versus throwing it. But we call it the throw kill because that's what yeah. it looks like from the fans' perspective for sure. And again, never would have been allowed when I played. Ever, ever, ever. So it's fun to see 
Um, I like it because, again, it keeps the ball, keeps the play going. Less whistles, less whistles. O'Farrell serves it to Simons. It'll be an ace for O'Farrell and a timeout by Berthel, the Hub International Insurance timeout. Call Hub International Insurance today for all your personal and business insurance needs. Hub is a leading North American insurance brokerage timeout on the PSP network. Set three, halfway complete from Minot. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. If it's fire damage, Agent Fred Iyer. From burnt to unburnt, he does that. Bishop Ryan has the lead over Berthold here in set three, 11-6 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. Thank you for joining us on the live stream. Remember, you're watching it back. And happy Halloween. Of course. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Subscribe to the PSP Network YouTube channel so you don't miss a broadcast. Upcoming broadcast this week. We got football to come later on, but first let's get to this kill right here by Toki Udekwe. X. Okay, we're calling it X now. <laughs> Follow sure. PSP Network at Network PSP on X and Facebook. The upcoming broadcast this week, playoff football, 3A from West Fargo. It's Minot High against West Fargo Cheyenne. A, a live video of that one. Nick Hallberg will be on the call. And then again on Saturday in Velvez, the Velva Drake Animus Garrison Aggies look to defend their state championship from a year ago. They play the Dickinson Trinity Titans. That will be a radio broadcast. Dickinson Trinity, the, the number one rated team in Class B? Yep. Velva, no, volleyball. I mean volleyball. Isn't Dickinson Trinity, right? Yep. 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 But Velva's number one in football. Dickinson Trinity, who they're playing is number one in volleyball, yes. class B. Got it, guys. I'm listening, I'm a good listener, that's him. Ace <laughs> for Casey. Shenfish is serving well, and here, honestly, like, she was the one in the last match, or the last set, that kind of brought him closer. Only, only down three here in set three. Fricky to Simons, Brown, middle with Shep. Tip Hit comes it. back, yep. Shep again. Janice is smiling on that one. She could have called that. I like that they let him play. Shep. Out. Oh, oh got Kept lucky. Bounds by Simons. Nesham will play it over the net and it works. Maya <laughs> Nesham got to give a lot of credit there. Maybe Casey Simons saying, how lucky was I? Yeah, I yeah. And play and she Bishop might Ryan, owe, she might owe her a on Slurpee it. on that one. There's the oh. up official. There's Janice Girding, the legend. Love her body language. Wonderful person. Close to the net, Fricky stays on her side and will get the point. I'm noticing a little bit. Casey can get Casey Simons can get a little bit out of. Um, out of a rhythm in terms of her technique, she just needs to step back and pass the ball. Go. Udekwe taps it over the net. <laughs> Lorella Brown had it in it? the air. Nesham didn't move, and Shep had to come over, but she was too late. 14-10 lead for Bishop Ryan. Lost set one, 23-25. One set two, 25-20. It's 15-10 in the moment.
Planet Pete, or sorry, Press Switch Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. Enjoy professional treatment and a fun, relaxed atmosphere. Check them out at MyNotBraces.com. <laughs> Another point for the Lions. A couple of frustrating plays there for Berthold. Uh, they were back in it, and now they're kind of creeping out of it. Shenfish on the receive. Fricky out jumps Shep. Yep. Lands Sophomore. on the Bombers side. Timeout again, Berthold Bombers. On their head. 17-10, <laughs> Bishop Ryan. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. Finding the right bank can be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan, BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. On PSP Network. Ricky to Shane Simons. Here's Nesham. Powered Block. through. Lands on the Lions side. Region six qualifiers are complete in rugby in District 11. TGU sweeps Nedros three to nothing. So we know the four teams from District 11 they'll be playing here in Minot next week. Some new ones it feels like. Mm -hmm. No rugby Panthers. Yeah. Congratulations to them on their run. Udekwe into the net. Bombers have a point, 12-17. And I wish them well, too, on their rebuild. Happens to the best of the team, so nothing that. taken away from them and their coaches and all the time put in. The District 11 title matches between the Velva Aggies and Botno Stars. Ooh. Tipped over the net by Brown. Tried it twice. Hasn't worked yet. Setter's doing some little tip. Simons. Here's Canelo. Everybody's tipping. Shenfish. Didn't get the ball anywhere. On the pass. Bishop Ryan with a six point lead. Starting to get into the later stages of set three. When it hits about that 18. Very same situation as set two that the Lions took 25 20. Canelo waits for it. Brown passes to Shane Simons, back row. In the middle, Johansson, yeah. powerful <laughs> kill. Hey. Elena Johansson, do we get a Ryan replay on that one? Yeah. Of course we do. Heck of an approach, let me see the approach here. Hmm. And on the other side, it's Casey Simons. Don't she says, what whatever she can you can do, yeah. yeah, I can do better. Simons and Johansson going at it. Both grade match. 11 players, so they're going to be playing each other next year as well. Johansson tipping, blocked by Simons. Free ball here. They go to the middle with number 10. Pushes it over the net. Canelo. Good up. Sliding play by Lindahl. Here's Nesham for the back row. Johannes near side into the net. No touch, point for the Bombers, 14-19. Nice pass. Johnson in the middle. Nesham oh. gets it back over the net. Janice could have called that one too and she knows it. Tipped by Johann uh, Johansson again. Good block by Johansson on that play. 
Near side, Charlie, cross court, ends up in the Berthold student section. <laughs> Into the baby outfits. One that seems to have lost air. Johnson off the block. Saved there by Nesham. <laughs> Tokyo Dekwe to Johansson with a left hand. And over. Oh, Falling backwards was Lindahl. Nesham couldn't get there. They bring Shenfish back in. Effort is definitely not lacking. Twenty points in the set for the Lions. Nice pass. Simons. Demars got out of the way, whizzed by her head. <laughs> and she's got a little smile on her face back there too. Nice pass. Off the top of the net, pass by Shenfish. Shenfish. Udekwe punches it over the net. It was close to touching the net. Toki was. Free ball for the Lions. Ronning. Middle. Johansson, pass back over the net by Alyssa Lindahl. Simons comes down with the hammer. Ooh, that is the hammer. Let's see that one again on the replay. Ryan replay. And I think our timing's right on. Maybe Jobbers <laughs> move the game later, huh? Johansson into the uh -oh. net. Simons playing quite the factor Timeout. here. Bishop Ryan gonna regroup. They do lead though, 21-17 in set three. A lot of highlights to come in this match on the PSP Network. Jersey Mike slices your sub right in front of you, see? The slicer, the meat and cheese, it has a rhythm. This is the rhythm of the slice. For Danny? <laughs> Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Berthold on a bit of a run here, trailing 17-21. In, out, out. Out. Good scramble play, though. Good defense by Berthold. Out of the timeout, Bishop Ryan gets the point, and they'll have Cambry Johannes serving. Good pass by out Nesha. For Simons, DeMars smartly. Ducks out of the way again. Yeah, she. 17. She stopped swinging away and she's hit a couple balls out, Casey. So she's got to find that rhythm again. Ace for Johannes. Serve pro set point. Lions right. looking to take two in a row. Cross court from Lindahl to Brown. They get. Do get it over the net. Here's Udekwe to the back row. Nesham, Simons, Talindo. In the middle, Johansson wasn't ready. Casey Simons. Nice play. Back and forth. Out. Oh Out. My no gosh. touch. Johansson was ready for the celebration to begin. Yeah, and that was a, I mean, I thought the angle was wonderfully placed just to put it outside. Six set points still for Bishop Ryan. Free ball. Ronning sends it over. To the near side, Nesham doesn't get it over the net. That'll end set three. Lions have taken two in a row, looking to pull off the comeback against 
Berthold here in the Region 6 qualifier, 25-18, third set score. We'll be back with the fourth on the PSP Network. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up. Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. The trick to throwing well is knowing where you want the ball to go. Like how the local bankers at First Western Bank and Trust take the time to learn about you and recommend the banking services like online banking or personal loans that keep your goals on target. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Whether you're looking for a full-service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and Civic. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. Well, between sets, we got our choice of Halloween candy. Melissa, what did you go with? I'm right here with the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I mean, literally, peanut butter and chocolate are like the greatest combinations ever. Almost as good as Owen and Spelchin on PSP Network. Well, I went with the Twix. That one's on top for me. <laughs> First point of the four set goes to Bishop Ryan, who leads two sets to one. Bishop Ryan really has brought the energy. And honestly, like, you, I, gosh, I'm reflecting back on Set two, when you asked me, like, what's got them back in this set? They've just played a good team game. I want to give a little bit of credit to Johannesson. I think she's been a presence in the middle. Even though she just hit this one into the net and the set four is tied 1-1, one, one, she's really played well. Kind of matched Casey's energy, Casey Simon's energy on Berthold's side. And Casey needs to appear like she did in set one. Johansson gets another chance there. It's brought up by Lindahl. Now, Duckway, that's Kianello. Really, the heart of this team is the Duckway sisters. And it honestly kind of has been for the last year or so. Nick Tice described his team as fast, fun, and unpredictable before this tournament began. Fast, fun, and unpredictable. Being unpredictable in volleyball is good. I mean, it's good offensively. Unpredictable for the coach is not good. You, you want to be able to predict if you're the coach of the team. Pass across the net out of bounds by Alyssa Lindahl, picked up by her teammates. As the Bombers trail three to one down to their last set, possibly of the season.
In the middle, Johansson off the block from Simons. Here's Casey again, goes with the left hand. Oh. Udekwe able to save get it. it over. Blocked by Johansson. Who is across the line? Oh. Who is in the net? Oh. It was Casey Simon. She says, me? for Bishop Ryan, our Redeemer is ready to go for the district championship, which will follow the conclusion of this match, a Region 6 qualifier. Trying to determine the last team from District 12 or the last team in the field. Hit out of bounds by Johansson, not happy with herself after that one. <laughs> yeah. Unforced error there. Bishop Ryan up 4-2. Lorella Brown serving for Berthold. Team that sits one loss below 500 on the season at 16 and 17. Long out of bounds, Shane Simons. Couple players being subbed in. I want to thank Jeanette Dolan for bringing over the chocolate, and I want to thank the whole tournament committee. They've done a really nice job, have a wonderful hospitality room for us to partake in, but really excellent job here at the District 12 tournament. Thanks to all those people who I'm quite cer certain put time in volunteer uh, wise. And so volunteer time, that's fantastic. Thanks to all those people who do that. Casey Simons with the kill. Berthold trails by two and then comes right back with the ace. She's played a great match, Casey Simons. All around the court. Just a junior, team leader in blocks and kills. Her coach Lisa Bryant says she was the player to watch. Back-to-back -back aces for number 10. All tied at five. Serve, serving, aggressive serving, making a difference here, and, and Bishop Ryan struggling on serve receive. Bombers have the lead. UPS store located on South Broadway in Minot. In the Marketplace Foods Plaza. For all of your packing and shipping needs, that serve goes out. Well, we have a tied set here. Back to even at six. Johansson with the ball for Ryan. The number five seed in this tournament. Oh, it was out. Shenfish didn't let it go. Lions have the lead. Bishop Ryan in the quarterfinals. Five over four win against Surrey. Three sets to one. Or swept last night by our Redeemers. Nice play by Nesher. Yeah, really nice play. And I'm just seeing a very large hole on Bishop Ryan's defensive side. They're going to need to suck that up again. That's kind of short six, deep three. For those of you who are listening that understand the places on the volleyball court, ball served out by Berthold. Bishop Ryan with a one point lead. Well, and a one point and a one set lead. If you've been watching all nine hours of our coverage, you may have <laughs> learned a lot of volleyball terminology. Oh, and you really like numbers, I'm noticing. Yes. Yes, got it. Analytical guy. You must love. Stats class? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Toki's on the wrong side of the floor. Yeah. Yeah, ran right into the uh, opposing player as well. Yeah, that's a bit dangerous. The scream is what uh, quieted the gymnasium there. Up for Toki. Nice dig. Shenfish. Block goes off of Fricky. Simons uh, with a back row kill. Back row attack kill. Too bad I lost count of her number of kills. She's got to be nearing 24, 25, I think. I wonder if we she could ask. At, Do you think we could ask somebody? She was at 10 in the first set. 
What about Garfield that's over in the stands? I think Garfield might know. Uh, I'd probably ask the banana. <laughs> there we go, Owen. I'm going to ask the table in front of us here on break. Basham gets it over the net. Barely. But it counts. <laughs> there and they are. I'm not sure if they know the stats, but I bet they're going trick-or-treating after. Thanks to all those who dressed up today. In the spirit that, that, of Halloween. That does not include me. I, that is not That was you. directed mainly at me, I think. Yeah. That was directed at you. Look at that. Look at that run by Berthold up 11-8. Timeout by Nick Tice and the Bishop Ryan Lions. We'll take a break. Hopefully we get our attention back on volleyball. <laughs> Yard line nearing the serve pro red zone are the demons already. Hand off Hanky. Dances in the hole. Now he speeds and bursts outside. Accelerates to the 20. 15, 10, two touches, two touchdowns. Carter Hanky, this time they go left, and he just does what he does so well is he read the block. It wasn't off tackle, it wasn't off the guard on the inside, and he took his time, and he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the demons, helping him out. Back in set four, Berthold 11-8 lead. Aubrey Shepard, the nice play. Jerrica Shenfish serving for the Bombers. Stats and Information Department here at PSP Network, <laughs> also known as Bishop Ryan's statistician, <laughs> helping us with uh, Casey Simon's kill total so far, 17. Yeah, I thought it was a little higher, but 17's pretty good for three sets played in the fourth. And the match isn't over, folks. Bomber's still in the lead in set four, trailing two sets to one. The fifth seed, Bishop Ryan Lions. Shep in the middle. Nice play. Near side Udekwe, she's back in the match. And gets a kill. Canelo Udekwe, who took the tumble over by the net here just a few moments ago. And two balls on the court. Shenfish with the pass to Brown. And Nesham, too far, owns up to it in the huddle. Bombers still with a one-point advantage. Minot State University, the best way to predict your future is to create it with over 100 areas of study. There's an ace for the Lions. You learn the degree for the career you desire. Minot State University, be seen, be heard, be you. A lot of MSU people here in the PSP Network crew. 12-12, set score, back-to-back -back aces for Tokyo Dekwe, and just like that, the Lions are in front. Jeez. Momentum swings in volleyball, they're incredible. Good swing by Shep there. Good reaction by Johansson. Do huh. Time out. Simon's Great had a bit of a flip timeout. there. Bombers take a Hub International Insurance timeout. Hub International Insurance located at 4204 Boulder Ridge Road in Northwest Bismarck. Contact your local Hub agents, Josh Cattell or Michael Borman at 355-3100 for your personal and business insurance needs. Take the timeout on the PSP Network as well. Back with more volleyball after this. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. If it's fire damage, Agent Fred Iron. From burnt to unburnt, he does that.
One timeout remaining for both teams as we are in set four of this District 12 regional qualifier. That Berthold needs. And they're down three. Shane Simons went after it, a little slow getting up. She's all right. 15-12 lead, it was just 12-9 in favor of Berthold. Now six in a row for Bishop Ryan. A couple a of aces swing. sprinkled in there as well by Tokyo Dekwe. That's Canelo. Simon's going after it again. Shenfish sends it across, doesn't get there. Wonderful crowd here at the Minot Auditorium for the District 12 continues, final day. Continues to grow as we approach the District 12 title between South Prairie Max and our Redeemers. You could also look at it like, we don't want to give out Halloween candy, so we're going to go to the Minot Auditorium. Uh, whatever the reason, uh, really great to see all these fans in the stands for these wonderful kids that put in a lot of time to play the game of volleyball. And if you are still at home, make sure you have PSP Network on. That'll count for the Lions. Ricky. Eight in a row for Bishop Ryan, and Berthold is now down to their final few points. Let it go, let it go. Isn't that what we're seeing there? Charlie into the middle. Either Simons could have got that. Too close to the net for Udekwe, and the run ends at nine points. Wow. Sorry, eight points, but very crucial there for Bishop Ryan to take the set right back. And get a side out right here. Fricky. Kind of in the middle of nowhere there on that attack. Nesham, a good server for Berthold. Back at the line, down three. Near side, Ganello with, touched by the Bombers and it goes out, 18-14. Yeah, I think that ball was heading out too. Olivia DeMars serving now. Everybody should just breathe. I think that's what Nesham said to her team. Tipped over by Brown, nearly got that one to work. Ends up happening. It'll be Shep to serve. She's played very well defensively for the Bombers today. And gets an ace on service. 16-18 on the BNC scoreboard. How fast it shifts. Tipped over by Brown. Udekwe to the opposite side. Nesham, middle Simons. Udekwe tracks it down. Nice dig, dig by, by Shep. Shep. <laughs> what will Johansson do? Yeah. Sends it to Shep. Nesham sends it across to Mars. Up to Johansson again. Powerful, who's gonna chase it? Nobody, Lindahl was flying into the Berthold bench. Couldn't reach it. Lions lead by three. Northern Plains Heating and Air. Over 25 years of experience, there's no other choice to seal your heating and air game than Northern Plains Heating and Air. Simons. One arm in. play by Toki. <laughs> and hit out by the libero. This was, Weeks. this was the score of set one. Bishop Ryan was up 19-17. Berthold won it, 25-23. The junior Lorella Brown serving. And Johansson found the open area. 2017, Lions inching closer to a Region 6 tournament bid.
Brown gets uh -oh. it across. Bishop Bryan, a little bit out of sorts, blocked by Simons. <laughs> that was a block into the face of the poor setter that was standing there. Dominant block by Casey Simon. She's back at the service line. What will she do back there? And what will she do offensively back there? Pretty good serve. Ooh, Who are they gonna give ball. it to? Nesham stayed in, thanks to Weeks. Brown, tough area to set. Oh, and Shane Simons took it away from her sister there. Substitution for Bishop Ryan and Fricky. Nice pass, pass by Casey. That. And then backwards too far. That was a really good pass by Casey Simons. I'm kind of confused. You know, I have been watching actually the setting play on Berthold and I, I noticed the setter kind of, she starts at the attack line, then moves. She should actually be more in the position of two, right? To receive that ball and then make the set versus coming from the attack line and in. So that's the only way I can surmise that that pass wasn't, I mean, that was a really good pass. So setter should have had that ball. Need Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24 seven. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Berthold out of timeouts. They're gonna get the point. Served by Johansson goes too far. Bombers down 19-22 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard. This Check. is exciting. Oh yeah. We still got a championship game to do. Shep, it's over the net, out of her reach. Tipped by Lindahl, who sets it for Shep here. I think Casey Simon should get this ball back row. Not she like will, that, but in an opportunity where she can hit it. Dickway, dig. That was Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Point Bishop Ryan on the lift. Yeah, that's the right call there. Ball stayed in Aubrey Shep's hands too long. Uh, here comes Caitlin O'Farrell, who's had a great day serving for Bishop Ryan. Two points away. And Simons, not a good look. Nice pass by Johansson. Odekwe blocked at the net. Diving save. Shep Go. is there. Still Tips good. it over the net. We're still playing. <laughs> Everybody on the other edge of their seats for Tokyo Odekwe. With her left hand, left let hand. me say, I mean, just super athletic Odekwe is. Bringing us to a serve pro match point. Five of them. <laughs> Thank you, Owen. <laughs> Even everybody in the loop. O'Farrell serves to Simon, still back row. Here's Nesham. Nice swing. Blocked out of bounds, Maya Nesham. Oh, I love that swing by Maya Nesham on match point. Swings away. That's the sign of a player who is mentally strong. 20, well 24. done. It, Jerrica Shenfish with it. Just get it over the net, she That's does. That's right, yeah. Odekwe, skies. That's Brown, hit over by Nesham. Odekwe again! Bishop Bryan's off to region six. Emotions spill out for the Berthold players, especially Aubrey Shep, as the bomber season comes to an end. Bishop Ryan will continue on this season right here on Monday evening. Final score, Lions three, Bombers one. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. 
We want to fix it ourselves. And actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster. And know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. Post game show sponsored by Planning Team Financial Advisors and Shots Crossroads. What a match that was between Berthold and Bishop Ryan. Yeah, and honestly, set one could have probably gone to Bishop Ryan, right? With Berthold came back and 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 won a tight one, and then honestly, set two is pretty close as well. Set three got away from Berthold, um, and set four it felt like Bishop Ryan pulled away. They pulled away kind of at that critical moment of 18. Um, in a couple of those sets and really honestly overall I think like the the best team effort I've seen from Bishop Ryan in a long time so um, kudos to them and they sub in a lot of players 
that's something we're going to talk to the MVP of the game about. Like they sub in so many different players, and so they, you know, how do they keep a rhythm going? But they sure did tonight, and uh, you know, Berthold, what a year, you know, and they came back ye yesterday, yeah. right? They were down 2-0. Everybody thought they were done, and they came back and won that match. And I got to give some uh, kudos here to. Maya Neshem, you know, I think she's become one of my favorite players. Just a smart, cerebral player. Appreciate that on the volleyball court. She's in grade 12. Ryan Askvig is in grade 12. Alexis Bauer is in grade 12. Evelyn Lebrun is in grade 12. I'm not quite sure if Jerica is. I think she's got one more year. Uh, Askvig was the player that uh, was unavailable for this tournament with the ACL injury. So yeah, so and that's a bummer of a I mean, honestly, in your grade 12 year to have that happen. So um, lots of love being sent to her. But thanks to those players and and all and their parents and their coaches for all the time that was put in. And, you know, best of luck, definitely to those seniors on the rest of their year. We're going to switch up the order quick on our post game show. We'll go jobbers move of the game first. What do you got for us, Nick? Here it is. This is where Casey Simons drilled one. A nice dig that went back over the net to Berthold. Bishop Ryan sets it back up. And here comes our MVP of the match, Elena. Now, do I pronounce your name Johansson or Johansson? Johansson. Johansson, there's no uh in the yeah. middle. And she is here. And uh, do you mind if we do a quick interview oh, with yeah, you fast? Sure. Yeah. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, fantastic. What do you got to say here, Owen? All our sports clips MVP of the match. Like it was said, Elena Johansson for Bishop Ryan. You guys, uh, your coach said it's been an uphill battle all season long. How good is it to feel like? You're going on to the region tournament next week. Honestly, it feels so amazing. We've worked so hard this season. Like he said, it's been an uphill battle, but we just came out on top, played our best tonight, and it feels great. Yeah, I definitely think you did in terms of the District 12 tournament. Thank you. You were the best I've seen you play offensively. You also had some really good blocks and touches on the block, which is so important to slow balls down. Saw you play some good defense. Saw you pass the ball well. Thank uh, you. Talk to me about this well-rounded game that you have. Honestly, my goal this match was just to come locked in, ready to go, ready to play. Just be locked in the whole game. I'm I'm so ready to go. I was just excited for this tournament, and I'm excited for regionals, and I'm pumped. Yeah, you want to go out and play right now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if your first match on Monday was ten tonight, you'd love yeah. to play. Uh, one other thing I want to know about Bishop Ryan, you guys sub in a lot of players. Uh -huh. So how do you guys keep chemistry? Because you've got a lot of different combinations <laughs> happening all the time. Talk a little bit about that. You know, honestly, we have a great group of girls on our team. We're all very close with each other. Uh, we have a lot of subs because we have tons of different roles with different abilities that that's great that's honestly that's what we want is a well-rounded team um we all love each other so much and yeah it's amazing playing on bishop ryan oh that's awesome well you definitely are a well-rounded player Thank you so, so kudos much. to you elena and what are you going to do tonight on happy halloween are you going to watch this match or I'm watching or this match. I'm I'm cheering for both of these teams. They're, they both have amazing athletes, amazing coaches. Um, probably not eating too much candy, but <laughs> you know it's great. Well, congratulations to you. You're a wonderful young lady. Good luck to you next week, and we'll see you on the floor here so at the much. auditorium. Thank congratulations, you. Elena. Sports Clips MVP of the match, Elena Johansson. Sports Clips will keep you looking your best. Check in online with a hairstylist today at sportsclips.com for the MVP haircut experience. Well, we've got through all the segments. Let's take a look at the bracket one more time. The fourth team and in District 12, the eighth team overall to punch their ticket to the Region 6 tournament was the Bishop Ryan Lions, led by Johansson, the Udekwes, O'Farrell serving, uh, Fricky Weeks. Yeah, Fricky put in a couple like nice plays, and she's young. Mm -hmm. You can tell she's a young player, but she really worked hard. I loved that energy. We'll see the Lions next week in our coverage of the Region 6 tournament from this very location on this very network, PSP. We've got one more match to come in District 12 Volleyball. That's between South Prairie Max and our Redeemers. You won't want to miss it. The rematch. The only team to beat South Prairie Max this season are the Lady Knights who are playing excellent. Our Redeemers played wonderful yesterday. We'll set up that match after this break on the PSP Network. Great news. If 
you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up, Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers Moving and Storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial. Member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads.
station on the PSP network is proudly brought to you by... anywhere at any time to anyone it's not really something you can schedule on your calendar but when it happens to you and it's not your fault there's one law firm to remember that firm is schweigert clemine and mcbride we live here and take pride in helping our community we know this area inside and out we put in the work and fight for what's right so justice can prevail for you that is what we're all about we're on your side we're schweigert clemine and mcbride when it comes to your car you need someone you can trust. Someone who cares about your safety, your budget, and your peace of mind. At Trusted Tire and Auto, trust is more than just a word. It's at the heart of everything we do. We're a local business owned and operated by people who live and work in this community. And we believe that by building relationships based on trust and care, we can make our community a better place to live and drive. Trusted Tire and Auto, where trust, care, and community meet on the road. Great news! If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up! Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do! And we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Volleyball fans, you have reached the final match of the District 12 Volleyball Tournament, and boy, oh boy, should this be a good one. Our Redeemers Christian School, ranked number six in the state of Class B Volleyball, the only team all year 
to defeat the South Curry Max Royals ranked number five in the state. However, the rankings are flipped when it comes to District 12 as our Redeemers carries the number one seed. And South Curry Max is number two. The Knights, no stranger to this moment as they have been here four years consecutively. Last year was Bishop Ryan. Three years before that, the three years after that, it was Delax Burlington, and now the challenger is South Perry Max, who, as Ajaya Trader said in our interview last night, have never been here before. How do you expect the Royals to come out tonight? Well, I what I expect, honestly, is an incredibly high-octane competitive match. In terms of South Prairie, you got to control the nerves at the beginning, and I, I think they're ready. I, I, you know, they haven't been in a lot of big moments like this. So we'll see what the athletes and how they respond to this pressure tonight for South Prairie operate. For our Redeemers, honestly, if I'm them, it's business as usual. Do what you do best, which is wonderful defense, excellent setting by Ali Francis, and distributing the ball with the big hitters of Linquist and Vibeto shining. And then at the front of the net, you have Linquist and everybody else that comes beside her able to put up a solid block to try and stymie the offense of South Prairie. And honestly, South Prairie incredibly athletic, right? And it starts with Trader. Um, from my perspective, Trader is probably the most athletic on the floor tonight, with Maya Vibeto a very close, distinct second. Okay, but Trader's gonna have to have the match of her life. And then you're gonna have to have all those other role players that have really kind of given a few kills here and there, and a few digs here and there, step up even more. And that's in the form of the Becks, given a little more offensively. Mickelson, giving a little bit more defensively. And then really, really what it could come down to tonight is the play of the setters. So Brenna Eberly, grade 12. Allison Francis, Allie Francis, grade 12. Two senior setters who have played and set a lot of balls. Their play will make the difference. And otherwise, it's gonna be a phenomenal match tonight. Owen, oh, so lucky to call it with you. Alongside Melissa Spelchin, I'm Owen Patterson. You mentioned Brenna Eberly. Closing in on 2,500 oh, wow. career assists. It's in reach today. It's going to take quite a few, uh, but her play going to be very, very important for South Prairie Max. Coached by Katura Schwarzrock, a record of 28 and 1 on the season. Our Redeemers, on the other hand, 31 and 8. Coached by Kara Nunziato. This is a team that has played the top teams in the state. Uh, they've gone up against the number one team, Trinity. They've lost all three matches against them, three, six, and one against ranked teams. So it's a, uh, a record that has withstood quite the competition this season. And uh, you think that schedule can prepare them for the kind of matches like this? Oh, without a doubt. I think, like, what you just set me up for here is, like, how the program itself, our Redeemers Volleyball, has really looked at this competitively. It starts, obviously, with the administration at our Redeemers and their support of Coach Kara Nunziato. Kara has been a Coach of the Year. Right, so she has done some amazing things. She's been consistent. She's been consistent with her messaging to her players. And she's consistently created great teams to come out of our Redeemers. So kudos to them. Kudos to them being in this position multiple times. District finals, region finals. They have the experience. Let's see if that's what carries them through for the win against South Prairie, who doesn't have the experience, but man, are they hungry. Absolutely. Pre-game show sponsor, Valvoline Instant Oil Change with timely services that won't slow you down and no appointment needed. It's stay in your car, drive through oil change. They'll take about 15 minutes. Valvoline Instant Oil Change with locations in Minot and Bismarck. Find them online at VIOC.com. Valvoline Instant Oil Change sponsors of the pregame show. Quick break here on the PSP Network, and we'll be back for the national anthem. And starting lineups for the Minot Auditorium. Get ready for a fun one. The District 12 title on the line on the PSP Network.
Well, have we had some great anthem performances or what over this tournament? Oh, and look around. Just take a moment to look around. Like, this crowd is humongous for District 12 championship. Uh, kudos to the tournament committee. Kudos to all the people for showing up tonight, especially the fans and the parents and the families for both teams. And really, thanks to Nick Holberg and PSP Network to make sure that we're on for this whole entire district tournament here, for at least the last two days, and we'll be ready to go for Region 6. Because if it's anything like this, if the crowds are like this for Region 6, then we have to be there announcing every and broadcasting every match. Well, we are scheduled to. Yeah, big thanks to Nick. Give me my first play-by-play -play job for PSP Network. I've sure enjoyed it over uh, this Monday and Tuesday of District 12 Volleyball. Got the starting lineups going on right now for these two teams. Now we pretty much know who to watch for by now for South Prairie Max. It'll be Taya Behrman, Ajaya Trader, Skylar Beck, Brenna Eberly, Scotty Beck, and uh, Isabella Hoffman as well for the Royals. Our Redeemers, Olivia Ebel, Maya Vibeto, Ali Francis, Tavia Carlson, Leah Lindquist, and Brooklyn Rodocker. In the large crowd in attendance. We thank the large crowd that's gathered on the PSP Network YouTube channel to take in this championship match. One quick break and we'll be back for first serve on the PSP Network. Nearing the serve pro red zone are the demons already. Hand off Hanky. Dances in the hole. Now he speeds and bursts outside. Accelerates to the 20. 15, 10. Two touches. Two touchdowns. Carter Hankey, this time they go left, and he just does what he does so well is he read the block. It wasn't off tackle. It wasn't off the guard on the inside, and he took his time, and he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick-out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the Demons, helping him out. <laughs> Just about ready for action from the Minot Auditorium. South Prairie Max in the blue. Our Redeemers in the black. Number one versus number two in the district. Number five versus number six in the state. I mean, the buzz in here is incredible. Student section full. 
Happy Halloween, Owen. Nick. This is excitement personified right here. It will be the libero, Olivia Ebel, with first serve for our Redeemers Christian School. Received by Mickelson, Ajaya Trader. Net violation on Leah Lindquist of our Redeemers. And a sub in for South Perry Max. That's Skyler Beck, junior outside hitter. One of two Becks to keep your eye on. Mm, that's right. Scotty, the other one. Near side is Tavia Carlson. Off the top of the net, and that will count. Taya Behrman. South Perry Max off to a strong 2 0 start. And just by those two points, you can see how much this means to them. Oh, without a doubt, they got a ton of energy on the South Prairie Max side. Air out of, out of rotation. rotation. Yep, out of rotation. Hall of Fame referee, down official tonight, Linda Birch. Wonderful person and referee, Jenny Bogdan, is the upper official. Good call by them. Our Redeemer serving once again, tip, and then a land on the South Perry Max side. Tavia, Tavia Carlson. Carlson. Yeah. Ryan replay shows what happened right there. Hankel let it go, and it lands inbound. So just like that, the Knights are in front, three to two. This is Isabel Engelhard at the service line. 34 aces in the regular season for the senior defensive specialist. Jai Trader with the tip again and finds it's another night player in the net. Odd because first point the same as the third point. It, like exactly the same. Trader gets the ball, tips the ball. I don't know if Linquist like is hitting it. Well, is she hitting it as she's turning? I, I, I need to watch. I'm watching Trader on that play. Lindquist, player of the match last night in their semifinal win over Bishop Ryan. Good Carlson swing. again, nice dig by Everly. Unable to track it down though was Mickelson. 4-3 lead on the BNC National Bank scoreboard with locations throughout North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona. BNC National Bank provides you with banking and wealth management services for your business and family. In the middle, back. Look at that Dip one. To Lindquist. Too much for Amy Mickelson to handle. It goes out of bounds. A kill for wow. Lindquist. 333 of those in the regular season. She had a lot last night, too. I might have just saw the move of the game because Allie Francis one-handed set that. That is very difficult to do. Very difficult to do. She did it. Gave the ball to Lindquist for a perfect kill. That was beautiful to watch. Well done. Bold, Allie Francis to Leah Lindquist. Bold to move of the game this early on. We I might know, see well, so many. One-handed sets very rarely happen. Scotty Beck denied at the net. Lindquist and Francis. Combining on defense. Uh, what happened here? Point yeah. for the Royals. No, it's a pretty simple play. The lines, all the lines judge was, she was saying there was touch and there was touch, but it was last touched by the Redeemers block. Then what they wanted, what the up and down official wanted was, was it out? And it was out. So hit off the Redeemers block and out point South Perry Max. Traveled a long ways across the net. Vibeto touches. Oh, what a play, Maya Vibeto. So if you recall at the beginning of the, in the pregame, I said Trader's the most athletic and, and Maya Vibeto a very close second and that's why. That Lindquist ball was super serving. tight. Beck had a tough time handling that. Scotty Beck gets it across to the net, hung up with Michaela Altringer. 5-7. South Prairie Max serving, down two. Chasing it down was by Beto. Hits it back to Engelhardt. Free ball for South Prairie Max. Up at the net. That's Amy Mickelson. Abby Mickelson, sorry. Lefty. Again, deceiving. Anytime you have a lefty hitter, so hard for the block to figure out. Beautiful tip by her. Right over the block. 
Mickelson team leader in digs at 10 per game. Serve receive is struggling for our redeemers. Tie ball game at seven. <laughs> Skyler back still at the service line for the Royals, not anymore. Serves that one out of bounds. Well, the beginning part Francis. of this set is everything we wanted. Should be that all night long with these two very talented teams. Three ball, our redeemers, see what they do. That'll be Francis. Nice shoot by set. Beto. MPH had a lot of it. Again, great free ball execution there. Great pass, great set, and a shoot set. Serve too strong, Trader didn't go for it. So the purpose of the shoot set is to speed up that outside hit so that the block can't get there for anything. Well done, well executed. Delaney Hankel jump serve, collected by Carlson. Near side tip, doesn't stay in. That was an attempt by Brooklyn Rodocker, first time we call her name. Tight set by Francis. She'll fix that for the next one. From the back row, Evil. Nice dig by Trader. Behrman block out of bounds, and the Royals have the lead back. Very nice dig by Trader. Great set by Eberly. Behrman with the kill. First kill for her. She might need to have somewhere between five to eight. Had an for up and South down Barry, game yeah. last night. Francis. Tight as well. Close to the net again. Altringer runs out of room. Lead balloons to two for South Prairie Max. Got him. Allie Francis doing it herself. Yeah, smart play there by Allie. She struggled in the last two sets. Both balls were tight. Here she is. She's like, you know what? I'm going to figure this out on my own for a second and get myself recalibrated. Nice job by her on the tip. Kill. Mickelson, up and over. <laughs> by Beto. Can't get up. Behrman pushes it to the back row. Set up in the middle for Altringer. Good dig there by Hoffman. Trader sends it over. Tip by Francis, doesn't work that time. Here comes Behrman. Francis sets it up near side. Tavia Carlson out of bounds. South Prairie Max will enjoy that. Yeah, they will. That was a strong rally for both teams. Maya Vibeto had four digs in that one series. Nice job by her. Better job by South Prairie in getting the point. Amy Mickelson, junior libero, serving for the Royals. There's a block. It'll stay in. Off, well, it was out, but it went off the player's head. At least I saw that. Behrman and Trader yeah. were there. Yeah, so great block by Eric Emers. Behrman and Trader, nice job. Ace for Amy Mickelson. And Nunziata wants a timeout. South Curry Max out of the gates. Quickly, 14-10 lead in the District 12 title game on the PSP Network. To be transformative for your small business. The best bank for your business will offer competitive fees and so much more. At BNC National Bank, our team is proud to offer you a helpful, supportive, above and beyond banking relationship. Starting to stress about the complexities of qualifying for a small business loan? BNC can guide you through the process with much less stress and likely far more success. Speak to one of our team members today. This broadcast of District 12 Volleyball on the PSP Network is brought to you by Prestwich Orthodontics, specializing in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations. Visit MyNotBraces.com. Back to the action, our redeemers, Tavia Carlson. Tips it over, saved by Hoffman. 
Block attempt. Four, four no hits touch. there too. Yeah, no touch. You got it. You got I it. Do. No I'm touch. Getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> By the end of this tournament. <laughs> You're going to have all the terminology yeah, down. I'll be ready for region six next year. Leah Lindquist back in the front row for our Redeemers. Jai Trader. There's a kill for her. I mean, she's going to honestly become notorious for that. Mm -hmm. Our Redeemers needs to read it. She told us in her MVP interview last night she was watching film, studying the game, and, and that tip was one that she'd used to her advantage right there. Can't get the block. Yeah, Linquist powered through the solo block, a trader there. Wonderfully timed play. And I, I have to say, our Redeemers is really good at that. I mean, honestly, the ball's getting to the setter's hands, and Leah's already going. Good Back. touch. Here's Savia Carlson, left side of the formation. Back. Lindquist sent back by Trader. Oh, off her head. Nobody can recover for the Royals. Oh, left called. Against the Knights. Interesting series of plays there, I would say. Uh, Eberly was a back row setter. She went up and jump set that and, and was not called. Um, as a back row attack, and then a lift was called on our Redeemers. So tough point for our Redeemers. Trader tips it again. Now comes in with the block, but reached too far over. Yeah, so for there, if the ball has not reached the plane where both players have access to it, Trader can't come over the net and get that. That is an illegal play. That was a right call there by up official Jenny Bogdan. Trader that time, that was not a tip. Isaiah Trader. You were waiting for that call, weren't you? I was, yes. <laughs> Trader to the back row. That's gonna it's all gonna matter here. Trader, where's Trader at? Where's Linquist at? Where's Vibeto at? Vibeto. She's locked into this match. Yeah, I was just gonna say she's a competitive person. Without a doubt, she wants the ball every time. I love players like that. In the middle, Mickelson tips there it go. to the near side. Dug by Carlson, cross court by Beto. Just <laughs> couldn't get there with Scotty Beck. The whole Art Redeemer's bench off the floor. Amazing dig by Tavia Carlson. Smart play by Maya Vibeto. Beck gets it again. Makes up for that last play with a aggressive attack for a kill. And South Prairie Max first to that, like, I think critical point of the match, or the set, 18. 18-15, serve goes wide to the right. From Skyler Beck. She'll be replaced on the court by Isabella Hoffman. Allie Francis serving for our Redeemers Christian. Who swept South Curry Max in the regular season. Oh, Big time block, Michaela Altringer. And Brooklyn Rodocker. Double block, well done by our Redeemers. Big point there, down one, set one. Altringer had 23 blocks this season, Rodocker 32. Trader from the middle of the court. Here's Vibeto right by the net, tip over the block. Count it, Maya Vibeto evens the score at 18. Timeout. Timeout. South Curry Max and Katura Schwarzrock. Just like it's 0 0. 18 18 <laughs> in the first set on the BSB network. Back after this break. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go, the team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come.
come back from break. Michaela Altringer with the kill. That one goes off of Isabella Hoffman, and our Deemer has the lead for the first time in what seems like a little bit. Yeah, overpass by Trader, and Altringer took advantage. Back. Dug by Francis. It'll be the libero setting for Vibeto cross court. Another opportunity here for Maya. Oh, back to Behrman. It's Everly who gets it over the net. Quick, quicker. Whistle on our Demers double hit. Yeah, Francis. Francis struggling a little bit setting the ball this set, but hey, they're tied 19-19. She's a gamer coming back from an injury this year, playing well. See what happens here on the serve receive. That's a row doctor. Reaching back is Behrman out of position. So this is where I want to see if South, how South Prairie can hang, right? Like this, this is a critical moment of the first set. Lots of energy in the gym. How will they respond? Rodocker and Altringer, nothing getting by them in the early goings of this match. Yeah, I think they've had two big blocks just in the last series of plays, probably the last six or seven series of plays. Our Redeemer's up two. Trader, middle of the court again. Altringer, solo that time. Timeout again on the floor. <laughs> Hub International Insurance timeout. Call Hub International Insurance today for all of your personal and business insurance needs. Hub is a leading North American insurance brokerage. Take another break on the PSP Network. The rest of set one after this. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shod's Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads. It will be Maya Vibeto serving for our Redeemers up 22-19 on the BNC National Bank scoreboard District 12 Volleyball Championship. Altringer was there again. It ends up being a point for the Knights. Legitimately Boy. three blocks in the row for our Redeemers. Michaela Altringer. That is a statement. Huge statement by our Redeemers. Great serve by Vibeto. Tipped over, you called it during the break, Melissa. <laughs> I did. I'm like, wait for something scrum to come, especially from Eberly. There it was. 2023. Lightly over the net was <laughs> yeah. Francis. There's Trader. Tip works again. Isaiah Trader, the player to watch on the Royals. And the tip kills working once again for number three. Yeah, unreal. Uh, as a defensive player, just get in there and go get that. Francis by the net, sends it back for Altringer. Good working touch by Trader. There's Behrman. Oh, Ooh. Altringer there again in control of the net. Was that a giant Trader? I think it was. It got it back over the net. Nunziata wants a timeout. Wow, they're using up the timeouts already in set one, but it's an important one. Who's going to get out to the first lead in this match? Our Redeemers up at the moment. There is no place like the Country Club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with Golf Simulator, PGA staff, club fitting and lesson, driving range and practice green, pro shop, delicious food, endless fun in the pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. Out of the Hub International Insurance timeout. South Perry Max within one in set one against our Redeemers. Tavia Carlson, no touch. 
It's out, and it's tied. Oh, exciting. 23-23. Mickelson still back there serving for South Prairie Max. There's Altringer off of Mickelson and out. Altringer's like player of the game right now. Defensively and now offensively, Michaela Altringer, the difference maker for our Redeemers. Heck of a rotation for that kid. Well done. Set point. So oh, nice set serve. point. Free ball. Ankle Ish. and Hoffman are going after it. Can they get it over the net? Behrman to the back row Who's with the Libero. Lindquist right here. Lindquist in the middle. <gasps> Set back by Trader. The matchup to watch today, and Trader won it on that occurrence. This is exciting. 24-24, set one. Surf Pro set point off the board. Let him play. There's Trader. Now to the far side, Behrman. Near side, Tavia Carlson for our Redeemers. Put the serve pro set point back up for our Redeemers. Nice approach by Tavia Carlson. Very good technique there on that play. Obviously, South Perry didn't seal the net on that block. Set point again. Serve pro 24 7 emergency service. Set point sponsors. Ankle may have wanted to let that one go. Here's your chance again. Lindquist, nope, it's Carlson. Good dig by Hankel. Oh, Here comes Trader. Too much mustard. <laughs> what a set one. We've got a lot more in store. Here in the District 12 title game on the PSP Network, Minot State University, the best way to predict your future is to create it. With over 100 areas of study at Minot State, you'll earn the degree for the career you desire. Minot State University, be seen, be heard, be you. We're going to catch our breaths and come back for set two. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... Store located on South Broadway in Minot. And the Marketplace Foods Plaza for all your packing and shipping needs. Proud sponsor of the PSP Network. Set one was a doozy. Here comes set two. Tons of credit to both teams for an entertaining set one hard fought. Our Redeemers taking it 26-24. Amy Mickelson serving for the Royals. Come for the back row and by Beto. Behrman up in the air over the block. Yeah. 
Behrman again, that time touched by Rodocker, touched a lot of hands there and ends up on the ground. It did in like two seconds. Yeah, Francis was in there, Lindquist over for the block. Tough ball. Oh, here we go. Knights keep it alive. In the middle, Trader. Ajaya's arsenal, what's gonna come next? Honestly, smart, smart play. South Prairie knew that they were out of position, our Redeemers was. You go for a quick in the middle to Trader. Serve too strong by Mickelson. Roger Ward moving in storage, another sponsor of our broadcast. Find him online at rogerwardmovingandstorage.com. Helping the region move since 1942. Both setters are front row right now, just so everyone knows. Trader knocks it over to Vibeto. Here's Good Carlson. Fake. Nice dig. That's an ace. No, yes. kill, kill, sorry about yeah, that. You got it, you're good. Uh, great fake, there was a slide fake by Leah Lindquist so that there was basically one blocker outside for Carlson, nice job. Trader. There's the get. That's alive. Again, yeah. And then goes back <laughs> to the swing. Just love the confidence. Great job by our Redeemers getting that tip. Uh, by Trader that has been a kill in the entire match thus far. But way to go back to Trader, Eberly does, for the powerful kill. Lindquist denied by Mickelson. There's Touch. Behrman. There you go. Pass it over, so he's done dealing with Lee Lindquist. Short six. Over Trader. Ankle has it, set up Trader again, the tip. Carlson sends it back over. Ooh, In tight, the middle, Lindquist. Got it. It works. <laughs> Francis says, I'm sorry, Leah, for that tight ball, but thanks for saving me. They have been a little bit off early on. Yeah, I would say a little bit. So once that gets going, uh, watch out. Everly with another assist. Remember, that's a number to keep our eye on tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, when you have a hitter like Trader, no wonder she's got almost 2,500 assists. I think the stat was 47 last night. I remember when my, my, I'll tell you after this, I had a break. Remind me to tell you about my assist record. Oh. Oh, they do it again. Everly and Trader. Maybe I can tell you now, quick. My assist record at the university was broken. It was broken by a wonderful young lady, and I always said, well, I mean, literally, you broke it because you had so many amazing hitters like Jen Dixon, who just got into the Hall of Fame. So, it really, if you have great hitters to set to, it's not that hard. Nice play by... By uh, Beto. <laughs> I'm laughing because they just have so much energy on both sides. Like their celebrations are fun to watch. Well, this is the district championship, Melissa. That's right, Owen, it is. To be honest, the celebrations are fun to watch for the fans, gotta be. Everly really keeps it on their side. I bet blocked, and then punches it out of bounds. I think that one might have been heading out of bounds before she touched it. I heard Vibeto yelling net, and Everly's hair did hit the net, but I think when it's incidental like that, that's not called. Oh, Ali Francis. So we've had one each. Eberly's had a tip kill on the second ball, and Francis has had one. Let's see who wins that. Set up for Beck. Three ball here. In the middle, Altringer. Altringer had a spectacular first set. She did, Owen, she really did. Pass backwards from Ebel. Whistle. Here. Oh, net violation, okay. Nicholson at the net must have grazed it in some way. And you really can't get past a net violation with Linda Birch. Or an outer rotation. Mickelson oh. there. 
I guess who it was? Altringer. Uh, Kayla Altringer. She's taken over from Leah Lindquist from last yeah. night. Yeah. Maya Vibeto back to serve. Set two's tied, 7-7. Seven, seven. On the BNC National Bank scoreboard, locations in North Dakota, Minnesota, and Arizona. Find them online at bnc.bank. Nice Near set. Near side, Scotty Beck. Our side, Tavia Carlson. No touch. No touch. Wow, I thought there was. I would have been screaming for that. Royals back in the lead. And Delaney Henkel back to serve. Serve out of bounds by Henkel. And it exchanges hands to our Redeemers, Libero Olivia Ebel. 31 aces in the regular season for her. Set up for Behrman. And right back stuff to Stuff block, yeah. That was a stuff block there. Our Redeemers block the difference in this match thus far. Something else to mention here, and I know it probably doesn't need to be mentioned, but with tight sets like this, every service matters. Miss serves are going to really matter here in this match. All for our Redeemers. It's Rodocker. Good, good enough elevation there. Nice Lindquist little in the middle. Shoot. There she is, Leah Lindquist. Great pass. I think it was Ebel. Ebel? Ebel by our Redeemers. Great set by Ali Francis. An inside shoot for Leah Lindquist. Wonderfully executed kill. Knights first to 10 in set two. Off the hand of Ali Francis. And honestly, an exchange of plays there, inside shoot for Trader as well. So what's happening there is they're moving Linquist and Trader out of the very direct middle, moving them a little outside so that they have only one block, maybe no block. And it's easier for them, obviously, higher efficiency play. Linquist right there in the middle. Same. So literally, Linquist, Trader, Linquist. <laughs> Great sets provided by Francis and Eberly. One point for the Knights, one point for the Royals. Back to the Knights as they lead 11 to 10. Smart play. Sent back by Vibeto. Kept alive, Behrman. Here comes Lindquist again. Oh, nice by Everly. Yeah, nice dig. Tipped by Isaiah Trader. Nods her head, yep, that was a nice play by me. <laughs> she honestly knows it. And here's the deal, the reason she can do that is she's up so high. Yeah. And she essentially just directs the ball, and she directs it faster and more downward than most players can because of the height she's getting. Servant to the net by Behrman. Trading one point each. Yeah, you don't want to miss serves. You just don't want to miss serves in this match. Chasing it down was Eberly. Ooh, love that. Here's Vibeto. Good oh, coverage good by Carlson. Trader in the middle, pushes it all the way to the back. Oh, Lindquist let it go. She's regretting that decision. Smart play by Trader. She talked about the importance, right, of diversifying her game in the interview. She said, you know, everyone thinks I'm just going to hit the ball hard. I need to move the ball around and be smarter with it. Kudos to her. Way to get there, Eberly, on that set. Nice set by her again. By Beto, far side. Count it. Yeah, I think she would have had the kill regardless of the net violation for sure. Nice shoot outside. Rodocker comes in. And that tandem in the front row, Altringer and Rodocker. Blocking machines. Beck. Nope. Just out. And Beck trying to maneuver around that block. She knows it's there. She knows what they've done in the first two sets. And Just hit the ball out. There's two in a row for the Knights as they open up a two point lead. Swing. Kept alive by Everly. Beck swings it back into play. Pushes it over the net. And so I bet again. Right to Trader. 
Number three to number three. Scotty Beck again, just off to the left. Keep it in play, that's what you've been saying. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Timeout Royals, they trail 15 to 12, a mini run here for our Redeemers. We'll take a break as well on the PSP Network. is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24 seven. Magic towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. Point for the Royals while we were away. Nice pass by Ebel. And now a point for the Knights. Last touch by Taya Behrman. Uh, Vibeto and Trader are trading. Very smart shots. Gotcha. And I, again, like, kudos to those athletes, because, you know, most athletes just want to swing away and have mm. the power, but they want to win. And so they're placing balls for the win. Nice set. Oh, all trainer again. Good dig by Trader there. Here we go. Good pass by Evil. All trainer in the middle. She wants it one more time. Go, go, go. Still alive? Nope, not anymore. Out of bounds. Michaela Altringer gets it done. Love the effort on both sides, Owen. Love it. Nicholson in the middle. Nice swing by Rodocker. In the back Gotta row. Go. Here we go. By Beto chases it down, and Knights get it across the net. Turned by Hoffman. Set up Mickelson. Left hand. Got it with the kill. Abby Mickelson on the assist from Brenna Everly. Excellent effort by our Redeemers. Also very smart play by South Prairie, again knowing that they were all out of position on the other side. Go quick in the middle. 14-17, Royals trail. Altringer in the middle, oh my goodness. Sports Clip sponsors the MVP <laughs> of the match. I'm just gonna get into it right now. Yeah, I mean, MVP she's unstoppable experience. right now. Sorry, sorry, Owen. Check in online with the hairstylist today at sportsclips.com for the MVP haircut experience. Sponsors of MVP of the match. And if it ended right now, it would definitely be Michaela Altringer. Point for the Knights, 19-14. Final timeout of the set for South Curry Max, who find themselves in a five-point hole. Planet Pizza, there's no pizza quite like it. Try the blue buffalo, the plain cheese, or the chicken wings. Your mouth and belly will thank you. Call now at 701-852-1700. Planet Pizza, serving the Magic City for over 25 years. It doesn't say chicken wings, but I am appreciative that you say chicken There's wings. No yep. place like the Country Club. 18 holes of immaculate golf, along with Golf Simulator, PGA Staff, Club Fitting and Lesson, Driving Range and Practice Green, Pro Shop, Delicious Food, Endless Fun in the Pool, and activities for the whole family. Learn more and become a member today. Service. Here's Behrman. And quiz kept a little up off speed. by Everly. Nice dig by Ebel. Good shoot set. Tipped of the net by Linquist oh. and Rodocker. Linquist in the middle, swings. 
Picked up by Henkel. Credit everyone's placing the ball in some great spots and everybody's defense is on. Everly sets it up for Behrman off the block. Taya Behrman comes up big for South Prairie Max. Yeah, and great swing by Taya Behrman after a wonderful rally for both teams. Defense again, solid, both teams. Coach Nunziano for our Demers Christian. Keys to the tournament, in her opinion. Be prepared for long rallies. That was a gorgeous set by Ali Francis there. Everly confusing the defense. A ball that was up in the, uh, the scoreboard here at center court. Nice, nice dump by Eberly. Honestly, that was my, um, that was the dump that I did. Spelch approved. <laughs> Spelch approved. Both hands up, and then you just dump it with your non-dominant hand. Quickly, a timeout. Our Redeemers, as they've allowed three straight points to South Prairie Max. Quick break, and we'll be back with more in set two on the PSP Network. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up, Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust, Ryan Family Dealerships. Northern Plains Heating and Air has over 25 years of experience as your heating and air experts. Find them online at northernplains.com. Authorized dealer of AeroSeal, Northern Plains Heating and Air. Three ball. Set two action. District 12 title game, Leah Lindquist. <laughs> there is a move right there. Find that highlight, Nick Hallberg. Like, I think that's the strongest I've seen her hit a ball. She's been quite quiet all match long, but uh, that spoke pretty loudly. In front of Trader with the Trader yeah. block. Trader with the left hand, tips it over the net. Here's his Linquist again. <laughs> They'll avoid back to back, but like you said, free ball opportunity for our here. Redeemers. But it's she Lindquist. asked for it back. Leah Linquist. Yeah, that was the Leah Linquist show there. And, and I give credit to Francis. She sets her three times in a row, two in the front, one back set there for the kill. Excellent job. And an ace to follow by Olivia Ebel. Royals out of timeouts, and this momentum has slipped out of their grasp in set two, 22-17 on the BNC scoreboard. Ankle to Everly. There's the dump by Beto. Oh. She knew it was happening. Oh, tight. Everly again. It was touched by Lindquist, was it not? But it ended up on the South Prairie Max side. Yeah, she. it definitely impacted that ball. And that ball was on the plane, right? Like, Lindquist can go and get that. Yep. With Everly at the same time. That was not a violation. Nice job by Lindquist. Everly sets it up to Trader, pushes go. it to the right side. Diving save by Maya Vibeto, but... A return hit by the Knights goes out of bounds. As a result of that trader tip again. 18-23, Royals with service, down five. Nice pass by, by Beto. Gotta go. Was blocked there. Here's Beck and Trader. Here's Skyler Beck on the far side. Great job Lindquist on Lindquist returns defense. the block. Go. Trader blocks Lindquist again. It's just a battle at the net between those two. Three. Here we go. Out for Lindquist. Can she end it? No. Trader still there and not going away. On offense. Oh. Well, it had to go out at some point. So and it goes off Lindquist. <laughs> I almost feel like this is literally set up, right? Like Linquist versus Trader. Just we're gonna just go back and forth. Nice. Off of Engelhard. 2023. Good pass. 
Way to get the setter out of position and send it to her. Bump over the net by Francis. No luck. Behrman. Oh. Nice play, Carlson. Sends it to the back row with Henkel. Nice pass. Now they by got Hankel. the set. Just what South Perry wants. What's going to happen here? Bybetto sends it across. Punched oh. in the air by Mickelson. They're able to track it down. Free ball for our Redeemers. Lindquist, oh, found the open area on the court. Leah Lindquist sets up a serve pro set point. Wonderful rally by both teams. Excellent work. Smart, smart play by Leah Lindquist. There is nobody there. Trader blocked. <laughs> set back where it came from. It was Lindquist and Francis 25-20. That'll end set number two in our Redeemers. One set away from a district championship. We'll be back for the third on PSP Network. Coming up next. For decades, NODAC Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. NODAC Insurance Company, agents with answers. Darren Johnson, Cody Olson, and Scott Wilkins, your agents with answers in Mandan. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about Magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. Whether it's getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. The trick to throwing well is knowing where you want the ball to go. Like how the local bankers at First Western Bank and Trust take the time to learn about you and recommend the banking services like online banking or personal loans that keep your goals on target. First Western Bank and Trust. You can bank on us. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Set three underway from the Magic City of Minot. And it begins with an ace by Olivia Ebel. As this one heads to set three, out in rugby, District 11 final is heading to five, Botno and Velva, even at two sets apiece. Fifth set to 15, we'll see what happens in that district final. That one definitely has implications on this one here as those teams will be heading to the Region 6 tournament next week. Another point for the Lady Knights. Nice kill by Tavia Carlson. She doesn't get the ball as much when Lindquist is in the front row, but no. when, when she gets the opportunity, she's been successful. Credit to her. Behrman all the That's way across. By Beto was posed with quite the challenge there. Yeah, she knew it was in. Royals on the board. It was kind of creeped up a little bit much, but she did all she could to get that ball. Nice pass by Carlson. Lindquist adapted to Behrman. Nice back set. And a block. It was number nine versus number nine, and our Redeemer's number nine won that one. By herself, Carlson. Tavia Carlson. 
She's excited. 13 blocks in the regular <laughs> season for the junior outside hitter. Service. Carlson is denied. Back in Trader. Nice block by the Royals. Thank you for tuning in on the PSP network. You're seeing a good one. Possible Region 6 preview. Over. Free ball. Got a whistle and a point for our redeemers. All of you viewing on YouTube right now or on demand, remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss another broadcast. We got a lot coming up. It's postseason time. Fall sports coming to an end. Also got uh, quite the presence on Twitter or X. We've had a tough decision on what to call it today. And of course, Facebook. Trader couldn't get it over the net. 5 3 our redeemers. I would say in the critical moments of set one and set two, Trader has struggled, right? She hits either a ball out or hit a ball into a block. So I look for her to develop that part of her game, and that only comes with experience. Big swing there by Scotty Beck. Trader reached over the net. And gets the point. So now go to serve. Strong front row here for our Redeemers. Left In the middle, Mickelson. Good set. Near side by Beto. Maya by Beto. Presswitch Orthodontics specializes in braces and Invisalign for all ages. They offer 0% financing and free consultations, virtual or in office. Enjoy professional treatment. Check him out at MyNotRaces.com. A serve, Leah Lindquist, Owen. Allie Francis has really turned her setting around from that set one where she was struggling with some balls really tight. Set two and set three here thus far. Allie is setting the ball lights out. Oh, gotta go. <laughs> Nobody knows what to do. Carlson just pushed Mike Beto out of the way. <laughs> Well, no one knew what to do because the ball came over faster than it should, right? So Altringer's like, do I hit it? Do I set it? Do I hit it? Do I set it? <laughs> Eight oh, that was lead fun. on the BNC Bank scoreboard. Anthony's Beck coming in. Here's nice side by Beto. Again. Blocked. Mickelson and Beck. Yeah, that's a big block there. See if they can gain some momentum off of that. It will be Skylar Beck serving. Down by three. Critical third set for the Royals. Lift it over the net by Francis. Who's gonna track it down? But Isaiah Trader. Back row, good call. Lift. Kick. Lift called on our Redeemers. Two. Back back to serve, down two. Two point set. In the middle. Nice play. Altering really didn't know if the ball was coming to her, but made something out of nothing. Without a doubt. Well, the ball was set a little far. And she was expecting to hit it with her right hand. What an athletic play there to move to the left hand and not only move to the left hand, send it to the far left. Well done by Altringer, playing really well. Double hit against Everly and South Prairie. Lead back up to four for the Knights. Minot State University with more than 96% of recent Minot State grads employed are continuing their education. MSU grads get jobs, period. Good touch on the block there by Altringer and Rodocker. Long pass over the net by Maya. By Beto. He 
getting closer and closer to a district title by the R Redeemers. Christian Knights looking for a five peat. 11 6 in the third set. We'll have more on the other side of this commercial break on the PSP network. Whether you're looking for a full service financial plan or planning for farm or business succession, Planning Team Financial Advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals. With locations in Bismarck, Garrison, and Center, our full-service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals. Visit us online, planningteam.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through Newage Advisors, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Newage Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. It's water. Boom. Agent Winston Otter. He's been called the human sponge. Trader from the middle. That's in. Point for the Royals. Nice back row attack by Trader. Nice play out of the timeout. Ankle to serve. Off the top of the net, how about an ace for Delaney Henkel. 8-3, BNC National Bank scoreboard. Your life is busy, we'll make managing your money easy with locations in North Dakota and Arizona. Visit BNC Bank online, bnc.bank. Nice set. Road doctor blocked. <laughs> Giggling a little bit there too. Francis is wanting to set the ball. Vibeto actually sets the ball, and she set the ball pretty well. Altringer needed to keep that one in. Nice pass. Vibeto will hit and get the kill. We're going to have a tough decision to make. It was yeah. Altringer early on, and Vibeto has been there all match long. Yeah, and both very uh, diverse. Altringer with some amazing offensive hits and great blocks. There's another one. Vibeto playing great defense and digging balls and then just smart with every offensive play she has. Set up in the middle for Altringer. Lots of volleyball left though, Owen. The time is winding down on South Curry Max as our Redeemer is up to 13 in set three. Behrman, cross court by Beto. Great set. Carlson, ankle couldn't get there. Point for the Lady Knights, 14-9. Roger Ward moving in storage, proudly helping the region with their moving in storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovinginstorage.com. Kept up by Carlson, pushed over by Vibeto. Here's Behrman again to the back row. Lavero Ebel. Oh, good Sliding dig. in there, Isabella Hoffman. Nice job by Hoffman. Point Under for the, the Royals. Hit the net, okay. That was against Carlson. Four point lead for our Redeemers. Trader, haven't said her name in a while. But we will now, Jaya Trader with yet another kill. Great athletic play by Trader. She had to jump twice there to block the ball. Quick transition, quick set to her. Kill at the back line, nice job. Nice set by Eberle. Oh, <laughs> Amy Nicholson. Could be a turning point, Owen. Those ones are always just like, really? You just go, really? Well, everybody for our Redeemers turned their back in the front row. They thought it hit the net, yeah. 14-12, that one just skims over the top. Our Redeemers celebrated before the whistle. Altringer thought she had the kill there, but it will instead be a net violation against Lady Knights, and we've got a one-point game. Not surprising.
free ball for the Royals. In the middle, Trader goes up. Kept alive by Ebel. Sent across by Francis. They'll try it again with Behrman this time. Nice by Meadows there. Near Good side, sacks. Carlson, right-handed. She's got it, Tavia Carlson. Great Coming up big. Stops the run for the Royals. And our Redeemer stays in the lead. Trader answers the call. Yeah, I would keep, you know, honestly, it's working with that inside shoot versus like right directly in front in the middle for Trader. I would keep moving her around a little bit. Carlson sent back by Beck along with the giant Trader. Tied set three. 15 each. Off the top of the net and off the shoulder of Tavia Carlson, the Royals are in front. Time out. Time out, Lady Knights, let's head to break. In set three, Royals in front, 16-15. Getting an education, making priceless memories, learning to play, playing to learn, or simply getting where you need to go. The team at Ackerman Estbold has been behind these projects and countless others, developing critical infrastructure, valuable spaces, and even some good old fashioned fun. Entrusted with the things you know, but delivering more than you may realize. Ackerman Estbold, trusted for decades and decades to come. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gas, South Prairie Max, first time in the lead in this third set. Free ball. It'll go to Vibeto. Now to the center, Francis. Carlson got the point, and we're tied again. Yeah, nice play by our Redeemers out of the timeout and on serve receive. And then great play on transition defense to offense with Carlson with the kill. Isaiah Trader says, how would you analyze my kill right there? <laughs> yeah, there's that inside shoot. Almost unstoppable over there. Because again, the block has to move and then the block is usually split. Coming in for the back row was Ebel. There you go. Great defense. And by Beto. Finds an open spot. Leah Lindquist. 17-17. Fans are getting their money's worth here on every set. Nice pass by Trader. By Beto. Diving home, but Carlson couldn't get over the net. Tough ball, but excellent effort by Vibeto. She's going to be it in all of the options for Jobber's move of the game later on. <laughs> yeah. Here she is. Great the attack sense. off the block. Maya Vibeto does it again. Tie game, 18 each. Set for Altringer, and she gets the kill. Knights back in front. Yeah, great quick set by Allie Francis. Finish by Altringer. She's got to have between 12 and 13. Oh, I don't know what your tally says there. <laughs> nice play by back. Everybody's exchanging kills here, exchanging great plays. Skyler back for South Curry Max at the line. Oh, another side out. Yeah, and honestly, that ball might have been traveling out, and Behrman just couldn't get out oh, of the way. 
She did, but it was just too late. <laughs> yeah. In, out, I'm confused. We got some, con yeah, hold on, we got. Let's try this high five again. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Honestly, the down official has to approve it. You can't just run in and run out. They're just so amped up. Everybody's amped up in this place. But our Redeemers has the lead, right, at 2019 yep. with Ali Francis with the ball about to serve. All right, let's play again. By better with the left hand, kept alive. She'll sit, oh, across the net, ran into Eagle. Beck. She is everywhere, Maya Barbetta. <laughs> Behrman, it's kept alive by Trader, sent over by Everly. Up for Vibetto. Taps it over the net. One-handed save there by Hoffman. Oh, they just can't get it over. Hoffman with a great effort. But it goes unrewarded as it's 21-19 Redeemers. Unbelievable volleyball by Maya Vibetto. Yeah, you could say maybe she's doing a little bit too much getting in the way of the other players, but it's all worked out for our Redeemers tonight. I'll take a player like her all the time who always wants the ball and will go get the ball. Back row, Behrman with the dig. Now by Beto, does the same. Yeah, it's a double hit. Double hit on Altringer. Francis wanted it, Altringer didn't get out of the way. <laughs> I got a funny story to tell you, but it's not the right time. I mean, I'll just give you the summary. I'm the setter, I get the ball, someone got in my way, I was not happy. I'll just say it like that. <laughs> Nice play. 21 20, it. Knights in yeah. the lead. Set over to Behrman. What the kill? Taya Behrman. Tie to 21. Nice set. And Michaela Altringer bringing her name on once again. Okay, so Allie's coming from the back row there, right, to, to get to that ball on serve receive. The ball's tight. She gets there, sets her feet, sets a perfect set. Altringer kill. Like, well, well done by Allie Francis. Great footwork. Behrman into the net, two-point lead for the Knights. Getting closer and closer. Roger Ward moving in storage has been proudly helping the region with their moving in storage needs since 1942. Find them online at rogerwardmovinginstorage.com to schedule a move or to find a quote. Proud sponsor of the PSP Network. Is the end in sight for our Redeemers Christian School for the District 12 title? We've got the answer on the other side of this break on the PSP Network. Great news. If you're looking for a new vehicle, Ryan Family Dealerships has the best selection we've had in years. You'll find fantastic offers from Nissan, Honda, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Cadillac, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Hold up, Ryan sells Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram? Yes, we do, and we'd love to sell one to you. Visit one of our five convenient locations in Minot and Williston. Get your next vehicle from a name you know and trust. Ryan Family Dealerships. Vibeto serving for our Redeemers, up 23-21, third set. Two points away from a district title, their fifth in a row. Point for the Royals. Yeah. 22-23, it'll be Mickelson at the line serving for the Royals. I think it was a back row attack by Ebel there on that play. First time ever in a district championship, the co-op of South Prairie and Max. Yeah, hit it over. It's over the net by Hankel. <laughs> they go over Trader to Behrman. Libetto sends it across. Now Behrman in the middle. Or, sorry, Trader in nice the middle. Spot. What's she going to do? She's going to get a kill. 
Isaiah Trader. 23 all timeout nights. Planet Pizza, no pizza quite like it. Call now at 701-852-1700. Serving the Magic City for over 25 years. Quick commercial break on the PSP Network. End of third set after this. Meet Gary. Gary is an ordinary guy, but right now Gary has car trouble. Gary doesn't know about magic towing. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's magic towing. We are here to help 24-7. Magic Towing in Western North Dakota. Don't be like Gary. Remember the name and the number. It's Magic Towing. 23 all in set three. Two set lead for our Redeemers. Can they close it out? That's gonna help them. Long serve by Mickelson, the junior. That brings us into our serve pro match point for the District 12 title. It all ends with an ace for our Redeemers as they have taken down South Curry Max for the second time this season. It ends 25-23 in set three. Congratulations to our Redeemers. We're going to head into the post-game show after this break. This yard line nearing the serve pro red zone are the Demons already. Hand off, Hanky dances in the hole. Now he speeds and bursts outside, accelerates to the 20, 15, 10, two touches, two touchdowns. Carter Hankey, this time they go left, and he just does what he does so well is he read the block. It wasn't off tackle. It wasn't off the guard on the inside, and he took his time, and he bounced to the outside, got a great little kick-out block, a touch block, and deep downfield for the Demons, helping him out. Back after quite a match. Three set to none win for our Redeemers Christian. 26, 24, 25, 20, 25, 23. That was a close one all the way through. But just like in the regular season, it's the Knights that win it in three sets. We've got our awards presentation coming up right now, so we'll turn it over to the public address announcer in just a moment here inside the Minot Auditorium.
at the match that just took place between our redeemers and South Pride it ended up being three nothing in favor of the Lady Knights 26 24 25 20 25 23 welcome in to the planning team financial advisors shots crossroads post game show alongside Melissa Spelchin I am Owen Patterson Melissa thoughts on how that one went well super exciting and entertaining for the whole crowd without a doubt even though it was three zero a sweep it really didn't show that in terms of like the entertainment value that was given because it was just back and forth for the majority of the match. Really the critical moments in the first set, our Redeemers blocked their way into that win. In the second set, you know, really Trader given some opportunities in the end and she's hitting balls out. Yep. And then in the third set, she's hitting balls into blocks. So really, you know, from the from the get go, we talked about South Prairie didn't have the experience. They now have mm. the experience. You have to honestly go through it to be able to win the next one. Give our Redeemers credit. Ali Francis struggled in the first set, still won that first set. And then she was setting lights out. Leah Lindquist showed up. And then really the surprising player for me today on our Redeemers, Altringer. Absolutely. Like, like way more kills than she's probably had all year. So kudos to her. The heart and soul of the team, our Redeemers team. You can see it, District 12 Senior of the Year. Maya Vibeto, for sure, our MVP player of the game. Can't wait to talk to her. All kinds of kudos to South Prairie Max. Mm -hmm. um, experience was gained here in the District 12 final. Yep. Okay, so get ready for Region 6 on Monday. Because there's a good chance they meet each other in the final again. Yeah, and if, if I just read like some of those athletes body languages like Trader Mickelson they want that ball again they want the opportunity again Eberly right to make the play in the final moments mm -hmm. and I'm guessing they'll be given it on Monday all right let's go right into the jobbers move of the game what do you got for us Nick jobbers can help you move across town or across the country
That looked like Linquist, I think, out of the middle there with a huge kill. Oh, Leo. Tough for me to see. My eyes yeah. aren't that great. I got this little <laughs> screen, but. Leah Linquist with the Jobbers move of the game. Locations in Bismarck, Minot, Fargo, and Aberdeen. Find them online at jobberswarehouse.com. Looks like we're joined right now by the Sports Clips MVP of the match. That one really wasn't too much of a question for us. <laughs> Maya Vibeto put it all out on the line for a District 12 championship. How's it feel? Also named Senior Athlete of the Year, all district, all the accolades mm -hmm. today. It feels great. It's just, honestly, we couldn't have got there without our whole team. Just a team effort. You know, you talk about move of the game. You were moving <laughs> the entire match. I've always been impressed with your ability to hit the ball with power mm -hmm. in the front row and the back row. You've been versatile both mm -hmm. ways. Tonight, what I saw in you was exceptional. Mm -hmm. Smart, smart playing. Mm -hmm. Like, you were willing to mm -hmm. not hit the ball hard and place the ball. Talk a little bit about that evolvement of your game. Yeah, for sure. Um, just like when our team gets a free ball, we use free ball, like, efficiency. Like, I heard you talking about that last time, <laughs> but... Um, we just make sure we use um, smart plays when we get the ball. Okay, and then secondly, besides your smart playing offensively, Maya, you were all over the place <laughs> on defense. Um, that is really, really warm to my mm -hmm. heart because I loved defense as a player. <laughs> so talk a little bit about, like, you will never be denied, it mm -hmm. seems. Like, if you <laughs> see the ball, you're going to get it, yeah. even if it might not be yours. So talk a little bit about that. Um, well, as a player, I wouldn't describe myself as jittery, but I'm just eager to get the ball. Like, I will not let the ball drop. If it's in my power, I'm going to get a touch on the ball. <laughs> Fantastic. Give us some points that you guys need to do to execute properly to be successful in the Region 6 tournament next week. Honestly, just team communication. Just We know how we can play on the court. We're an amazing team off the court, and our team chemistry is great. So just translate that onto the court. And keep moving like you mm -hmm. were tonight. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Congratulations yeah, you. on the District 12 Senior of the Year. Well deserved. And go get some rest. Enjoy Halloween tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do. Enjoy your post-game meal, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Congratulations, yeah. Maya. Thank you so much. Yeah, you bet. Maya Vibeto, Sports Clips MVP of the match. Sports Clips will keep you looking your best. Check in online with the hairstylist today at sportsclips.com for the MVP haircut experience. District 12 champions for the fifth year in a row our Redeemer's Christian School. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Karen Nunziato, right? And and I think she's actually had a couple coaches that have stayed with her and Jody Hall and Julie Johns Johnson. Like to consistently win like that and put out a product, right? That's commitment. That's commitment to like what your system is and that you're not going to change it. And remember our Redeemers this year had an injury with Ali Francis, an amazing setter who really, really played well, set, set, set two, set three, and really just kind of controlled and was the captain. She had an injury, so she didn't play the first part of the season. It was a broken bone in her ankle or something like that, like not easy. She has come back, done well. Karen Nunziato has had her ready, has had her whole team ready. And so kudos to Kara and her coaching staff. And then again, the administration at our Redeemers that has committed themselves to having a good female volleyball program, consistently winning the District 12 tournament, consistently winning or in the Region 6 final, and consistently going to state. They'll see if they can repeat it again next week, November 6th, 7th, and 9th, here all on PSP Network. We'll have all three days of coverage, hopefully. There on PSP. Also coming up later this week, playoff football. It's semifinal weekend in 3A as the Minot High Magicians travel out east for a rematch against the Mustangs of West Fargo Cheyenne. Live video coverage right here on the PSP network. Nick Holberg on the call for Cheyenne in Minot. And then on Saturday, it's single A semifinal action as Velva Drake Animus Garrison takes on Dickinson Trinity. Radio broadcast there uh, in Velva for that one. Well, uh, you may have heard it uh, during the awards ceremony there, uh, the matchups in the first round next week at the Region 6 tournament. It was Botno that took District 12 in a five-set match against Velva, so they will face off against Bishop Ryan in the first round. Velva gets to lax Burlington. Uh, then uh, our Redeemers, I believe they drew... Uh, Ooh, I don't was know. Well, the t there's TGU and there's Drake. Drake. So one or of no, those. No, Newburgh West Hope. And West Hope. How did I forget my buddies yeah. in West Hope? Yeah, Sorry, guys. <laughs> so those are the matchups for Region 6. 
Excited to do that one next week, Melissa. Yeah. Oh, and I think we, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks to Peyton, the beaters, for their help. It was phenomenal. Owen, it was a pleasure. Nick Hallberg, thank you for your support. Look forward to seeing you guys Monday night, Monday afternoon for a long day. Well, I'll do it again on November the 6th. One final time for our great crew here putting together this tournament. Happy Halloween from PSP, and good night, everybody. We want it all. We want our dog to fetch it. Drop it. And drop it. Drop it. We want to fix it ourselves. <gasps> and actually fix it. We want to order the market price lobster and know the market price of the lobster. How much is... Whatever the market says. Sadly, we can't have it all. Except at Sport Clips, where we check in with the pros in men's hair and totally check out with pure, uninterrupted relaxation. Sport Clips. It's a game changer. Are you moving your business or your home across the town or across the country? We know it can be stressful. To ensure your possessions arrive on time, intact and on budget, make your move with Jobbers Moving and Storage. Jobbers can help you with every aspect of your move. With our efficient step-by-step -step approach to move management, we can tailor a plan to suit your needs and schedule. With locations in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot and Aberdeen, Jobbers Moving and Storage is your choice. Visit JobbersWarehouse.com. It's Jobbers, moving in storage. This presentation on the PSP Network is proudly brought to you by... financial plan or planning for farm or business succession planning team financial advisors is here to help you work toward achieving your financial goals with locations in bismarck garrison and center our full service team of professionals are dedicated to helping you work towards achieving your financial goals visit us online planningteam.com Securities offered through LPL Financial, member of FINRA and CIPIC. Investment advisory services offered through New Edge Advisors, LLC. A registered investment advisor. New Edge Advisors, LLC, and Planning Team Financial Advisors are separate entities from LPL Financial. How would you like to turn this into this? With Shots Crossroads Fuel to Food Reward Program, you can. Here's how it works. Pick up a fuel tracker card from any of our C-Store cashiers. Every time you fill up with gasoline or diesel, use the fuel tracker card to record your gallons. Once you reach 1,000 gallons, you'll be eligible for a $10 gift card to Shots Crossroads Restaurant. Start earning your rewards today at Shots Crossroads.